Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. And yep, there we go. Wait. Okay. We're live. We're ready. We're going. Hello. Um, uh, okay. Over there now. I, I, I moved it over there. Just seeing how that looks overall. And I got to get used to that. So, hello, world wide web. I'm Dr. Shadow of the United Personality of Vestarian. Welcome back to Call of the Wild. The Angler. The Angler. The Angler being myself. I am the Angler. The Angler. The. The. I'm the Angler. The Angler. Ah, uh, I forgot. Oh, jeez. I forgot to accessorize. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Oh, here we go. There it is. There it is. Ah, hello, Mad Slasher. Storm is raging outside and your dogs have become Velcro. They're, they're clinging to you? Well, it's, it's better than them hiding off somewhere else. Lou sometimes will just go off into the bathroom and climb into the tub sometimes but yeah i've got the i got she likes to hide under the desk as well when it gets that bad which is why i got the pillow down there just in case the storm kicks off it's kind of cloudy out there hello cron hello tuesday seemed rough so let's take a thoy's day yes those act taft hello maxine bonjour bonjour ah uh, now we haven't gone to the Aguaz Claraz Monocable. We haven't been there. That's, that's in Andala Zaye Spain. So we, we can check that out. The, the least amount of fish species, interestingly enough, but the most missions. Hmm. Well, playing Battlefront Classic Collection. I've. Uh, when it first started, I heard that the, uh, evidently they had, like, what was it, two servers <laughs> or something, and uh, it, it got mostly negative reviews on Steam as a result, but I hear they've already fixed that, also. So. I'm not sure entirely, but I hear things sometimes. Twitter is a place I spend way too much time on, and a lot of people complain about everything there. Must be what draws me to it. Oh, well, we got ourselves a big old beer. So, Golden Ridge Reserve. Agua's Claras. Let's go with the Golden Ridge. Let's just hop in Golden Ridge, see what it is I maybe can and cannot do, and see if I might just jump to another map anyway. Okay, Kelch Silver Rank Sturgeon. That's what we're on. Okay, Lake Shore, Shell Lake, Upper River. That's I think that's right where we're at. Is yeah, pretty sure we drove here with the express purpose of catching the stoyge. That's cheese. What's the stoyge in like? Cheese. Okay, but there are no. That's that's not the stoyge. That's the stoyge. Cheese. Okay. <laughs> All right. But they're a night fish. So it's still possible to catch them out here. But that doesn't mean we're gonna. Third map out halfway done. Ah, uh, actually got the Milwaukee's best? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <sighs> it's been a bit, been a bit since my last beer. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but how can I hear with so much hair covering my ears? Uh, like that? <laughs> it's, it's an optical illusion. The hair goes down under the cap, but then it goes around the ear, and there we go. There we go. It's fine. It's great. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's amazing. It, it makes me kind of hard sometimes, actually. Like, mm. <laughs> Okay, we're still using our super rod here, so... We're not having any real difficulty 
and what we're, we're fighting here. It's 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 hardly a fight. I'm just I'm just jumping this fish out in the middle of the day like a sucker punched it. Like it's not a fight. Call of the duty. And it just. Oh, that should be the right. No, I'm just. It's Call of the Wild, but I. But for some reason, my OBS is telling me that I'm still set to expeditions. Even though. There we go. We got the Stoigen. Nice. And we even got experience with cheese. Not bad. Not bad at all. We actually successfully did this. Boom. Mission complete. There's a new challenge mission available at the Diamond Peak Outpost. Greetings, Traveler! Where the hell's Diamond Peak? Diamond's Peak is down there. Silver Strand Meadows. Did I... Did I check that one yet? Let's fast travel there to see if there's some stuff there I... I missed. Got a board here. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff I missed. Got a map challenge. Catch a bronze rank Ohrid Trout. Alright. Photo challenge. Catch a bronze rank Green Sunfish. Oh, that's down by the little factories and stuff that that old Mr. Buckaroo was bitching and moaning about. Catch bronze rank Mountain Whitefish. Okay. Please catch a fish. Bronze rank Rainbow Trout. I've done that. Man, I should have taken these missions before, because I did half of them already. <laughs> uh, anyway. Di Diamond Peak Outpost. Let's check the new missions available there. Is this an open world fishing game? Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is, the, this is uh, Call of the Wild The Angler. Uh, it's made from the same team, I believe, that put together... The uh, Hunter Call of the Wild Careful series of games. But uh, this one is taking that engine and being like, yeah, there's uh, there's no wildlife, which is a bit sad in my opinion. But there's fish. Lots of fish. Go fishing. And you just... Gold map challenge. Gold rank largemouth ass. That could be fun. I love me some bass fishing. Gold rank channel catfish. Okay, the largemouth. Why is every. Oh, no, okay, that's a day fish. I thought that was another. I thought for a second that trait was just like. Uh, I, I, I'm so used to seeing the night fish, I didn't realize that was a sun and not a moon. <laughs> okay. Aggressive jumper, last dance, sun lover. I've only ever caught a silver rank largemouth bass. That could be a fun little challenge. A fun little quest. Catch ourselves a beautiful, beautiful, loudmouthed ass. I can be happy and just enjoying my life. I could. That's the dream. I not grab the damn Where's the... Gold rank catfish Burbot Boogill There Gold rank largemouth bass Okay, track that And let's see how close we can get Tracking it, right? Find the map location. I don't see it marked on the thing. Let me just check my joinal again. Excuse me. It's right there. Okay, so big, the big like, big like, little like thing right there. So big like, big like, no! little like thing right there. I'm just, I'm just, I gotta, I gotta be able to figure this out. That's that's what I gotta do. 
Maybe they'll make another Legend of the River King someday, and it'll be like this. Oh, Legend of the River King in the... Legend of the River King in the uh, Breath of the Wild engine with Switch 2. Like... That's, that's that's what I like. Especially Switch 2. I, I, you know they're going to have the actual motion control fishing. You know. You know. That would... <laughs> they'd have that. Just like, yeah. You got Joy-Cons here. Fish like this. Boom. Do it. It's fine to blame Josh Game. It's fine. <laughs> Did I not grab this? I guess I didn't. Humphrey G. Hunchenbeth the third. Okay. Humphrey. What the... What the heck you talking about, Humph? No, Humphrey G. Hunchenbeth three, not the third. My name is Humphrey G. Hunchenbeth, and if you're reading this, I'm like the dead. Or I might be alive and I'm in love with the Bigfoot. There, I said it. I'm madly in love with the Bigfoot. I first saw the Bigfoot just a few meager months ago, and what I felt was electrified. I never thought someone like me could experience love at first sight. It took me back to when I first tried to scale the pain fence to gaze upon the farmer's cows on that balmy summer afternoon. I thought love was something you read about in Tracker's Digest. But it is real, it is wonderful, and it is mine. Provided I find the Bigfoot, and I will find the Bigfoot, even if it kills me. Wish me luck, lovers everywhere. All right, good luck with that. <laughs> oh, now that shouldn't be. <laughs> it's, it's, the man likes his hairy his cryptozoological critters. Go, go, Humphrey, do your thing. Just, just, just do it over there, please. All right, and then our lovely, lovely blue rat over here. Okay, yeah. Fishing for fishes? Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, I don't think I gotta cross there. Nah. I gotta stay. Stay the course. Stay the course. We will find this map location. Grabbing in our Jeep. Having a little sip. Nothing wrong. Everything fine. Everything great. Everything. Oh my god! Okay, we're okay. I believe this is multiplayer as well. Yes, yes, I've seen people playing it multiplayer. It's definitely multiplayer. <laughs> this is a don't drink and drive moment. <laughs> I mean, in theory. Generally speaking, uh, you, you, you should not. You should, you should not. But... I believe that if you have to in order to save the world from total nuclear annihilation, then rules can be bent. You see, that's why I, I, my mentality is superior to Gemini AI. Oh, swarming, creepy, crawling little tree munchers got something coming to them. And that little something is called Clayton's Wrath. You're halfway done and I'm rip-roaring to go, Buck. You can rip-roar to go along with the guy rip-roaring with the... Oh, I should I should check. <clears throat> Excuse me. How? What exactly do the bath want? Okay. Popper frog, crankbait. Oh, fucking crankbait. God, damn it! They would like crankbait, wouldn't they? You bastards! You little bastards! Okay, constant. Constant works. Good. We can get a constant going, and I won't have to worry about having to do the frickin' stop and go like I did with the other one. 
Hook size 10 on it, though. Oof. Ah, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be possible, but hard to get a... get a, a gold size with that. I might have to go... buy some damn... buy some damn, uh... new lures, just so I... I'll get a... I'll get one that actually... Will weed out all the tiny bass, and I'll have a chance to catch the big bass. Oh. Oh no, Decker's driving. Hide your children. <laughs> uh. You see, this one's not. I don't feel like there's gonna be a gold rank. He's fighting, but it doesn't matter. I'm just holding the little. I'm just still pulling him in like it's nothing. That's what you get with a size 10 hook. It's probably a tiny little bastard. Tiny little piece of nothing. Look at him. Look at him there like, Oh my god, please help! This rod is too much! Oh shit! God, help me! It's a smallmouth bass. It, 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 you see, I want a largemouth bass. This is a smallmouth bass. He doesn't even got that big of a mouth. He's not that big of a fish and his mouth is tiny. Little piece of fish right here. My dude looks just like me. Yeah, I tried. I tried. <laughs> oh, I can do twitching by holding. Okay. Ah, thank you, Crony. Thank you, thank you. I, I. It's also just a hold for twitching. Well, that's handy. Look at me twitch this. It's all twitchy. I'm twitching on Twitch. And YouTube gaming, but there's no fishing maneuver called YouTube gaming, so it doesn't really work. There are no computer powerful enough to render the hair on the internet personality of the best Well, the... Actually, there... I, I didn't... Try it entirely, but of course, uh, Dragon's Dogma Two, the character creator, out is out. It's available. You can download it and try it out. And that's what that's what companies do when they have a character creator that is something to be proud of. And they do have some hair on that. That's a lot closer to my hair than most character creators. It's it's not exactly. But it's a lot closer than usual, so I'll, I'll take it. Like, medium, short, loosely curly hair. Like, okay. I'll take that. As opposed to, oh, it just, it just stops right, right there on, on your shoulders. We call that long. Well, look, you have a ponytail. We've, we've pulled your hair back. Into a pathetic little pony, like a, like those guys that have been balding for years, and they have that little little rubber band back there holding on to whatever they got left, and they're like, oh, it's it's what's it's what must be done. It's what we have. I have the rock intro you used to have st stuck in. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, that was just... A, yeah, that was that was a fun one. That was a fun one. A fan just... made that shortly after my joke about... the, uh... the jingle in the one video. And... I, I waited, like, a year <laughs> to bring it... to introduce it in to sort of repeat that joke, but the joke was based on... The joke was based on it being a new year and therefore new stuff you get, so... I waited the whole year, even though they they made that... They, they made the rock heavy metal jingle in, like, a couple of weeks, at most. It, it, it was soon after the video where I had the joke jingle that they they presented that to me. <laughs> and 
I waited a year to actually use it. Uh, but it was fun back when I still had the uh, the longer outros and all that, which I, I did away with because YouTube doesn't like it, and I did away with a lot of things because YouTube doesn't like it. And in the meantime, YouTube just doesn't fucking like anything. And that's gotten depressing. But, yeah. Hello, two cats yelling. Hello, hello. Do I have any memories bad or good about fishing IRL? Oh, just... I'm just getting a lot of smallmouth bass here. Just the, uh... Stuff around, uh... That terrible summer camp that I went to when I was younger. For one year. There's just the, the stuff... That, that was the only fishing I, like, ever did in my life until much more recently. When the... Uh, uh, my nephew's been coming out to our lake to fish, and so I've been joining him, and I had, you know, I've caught some fish in our lake out here. I slipped on the mud and fell in the lake. And, you know, that's, that's just kind of how it goes. That's just kind of how it goes. You want to be bald, just too lazy to shave every day? Mm, that'll do it. <laughs> you just kind of wait a while. In theory, like... You don't really have baldness in my family, so I don't believe that's going to happen. But, hey... Yeah, I could still be surprised. Who knows? Oh, I see... I see your ass. Right there, right on the... Hey, why don't you take some of this? Why don't you take some of this? Does this sound good to you? This right here? You want some of this? Come on, you want some of this. Fight the fucking lore, you piece of sh- You swim in the other way. You bastard! Yeah, why don't you bite that? Bite it. You know you want to. Yeah, I see you jumping up and down. You're like, oh my god, there's just something delicious just dropped in right there. I better go bite it. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you you know you want to. Bite it. Bite the damn thing. Bite the fucking lore. Bite it. You bitch. Okay. Oh. A bad story about fishing. We were ice fishing an event in Quebec. The fish were there to reproduce. Mom grab a fish and pressed to her. Pressed her. Eggs fell on your head. Press too hard. Your mom grabbed a fish and pressed too hard, and her eggs fell on your head. Yeah, that sounds kind of like yuck. Oof. Caviar is so gross. I don't know. I've never had it. I have had flying fish roe. They use that quite uh, frequently in sushi. That's when you have the little, the little orange spheres on outside on the rice. That's that's flying fish roe. It doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> that's that's my thing with flying fish roe. I don't know why it's there. It just kind of is. I'm, con I'm trying to read the chat. Uh, things have been going off, and I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm a very confused man. Things are confusing. You bastards, bite this fucking thing. What is wrong with you? Look, I'll, I'll even, like, walk out a little further. That, that sound good? That sound good? You like that? Okay, here we go. Bite it.
These bastards, I swear. Little fishy bastards. <sighs> Alright, another tiny one. He's just not fighting at all. Man. I feel like I really should go back and see if I can find a bigger... What is this dinky little thing? It's a crappy fish. This is one of the crappiest crappies I've ever seen. Score 11. Oh boy, guys. Oh boy. We scored 11 for this thing. See that is a little eleven for the, this little tiny little. Oh, now that shouldn't be. What is this? What is this? What is this right here? What is this? It's crappy, is what it is. <sighs> yeah, good enough. <laughs> Start singing "Eat It" by Weird Al. I don't know really know all the words. It's been so long. It's been so long. This was the last time I really heard it. This is something it goes something along the lines of Why are you always such a fussy hey, young it's me, man? The shopkeeper with the great shut, shut up, bitch, I'm trying to sing. Don't Take want no a look at these. Don't want no Captain Crunch, don't want no raisin bran. Well, don't you know that other kids are starving in Japan, so eat it. Just eat it. I don't want to argue, I don't want to debate, don't want to hear about what kind of food you hate. You won't get no dessert till you clean off your plate, so eat it. Just eat it. Oh, it jerk baits hook size 4 and hook size 3. You see, that's much better than the... How, wait a minute, how many of these do I have? Because it says I got... One? Uh, and I got two of those and one of each of them. Wait just a ding dang old minute here. So I have a five and four and a three in the crankbait. Crankbait, that's what I... Oh, jeez, I'm a dumbass. There's a hook size 3 I got. Okay, so we got a crankbait that'll definitely go for a bigger dang fish. We don't have to buy nothing. We just had to put it in our tackle box. I still really need to get a bigger tackle box. Because I am so limited... Well, and they're like, okay, I can't fit this. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta move their thing around. Okay. Crank bait. Hook size three. Ha-boom. Now let's get our asses back over there. And catch a big ass fish. Like a fish with a big ass. That's what I'm gonna catch. Like, look at the size of that fish's ass. You can slap that fish ass right there. Like, pa! Fish like, ah, my ass. I'm like, yeah, you telling me? Your ass is like, woof! And fish like, ha ha, I know. I do a lot of squats down the lake. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I might have already had a little too much to drink, I guess. Oh well. Whoa, rock! Oh, okay. <laughs> that rock just kind of came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. Oh. We're here to fish, not be fish. We're fine. Oh, we gotta keep driving a little further. Mm -hmm. 
assume you know enough about fishing to know about hook size. Friend of yours plays this. Didn't? Oh. That's a little odd because they explain it in the game. They're like, hey. Uh, you, 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 the bigger the size hook, the... Okay. Uh, it's like, yeah, small hooks can catch big fish. Large hooks can't catch small fish. But they prevent smaller fish from being able to do get in it. So it's like, you want to catch a big old fish? Use a big old hook. Make sure none of them small old fish bite your hook. Boom. Job done. Now, this is a really big hook, though. I don't think I've ever used a hook this big. So, I might actually have to fight. Like, even with this rod. Which is going to be a nice change of pace. I don't know any fishing songs is my problem. Not off the top of my head. I know a decent handful of songs, but I don't know no fishing songs. They see me fishing. They hating. Trying to catch me fishing dirty. I'm oh, just so fishing dirty. Here I'm at the lake fishing dirty. I've just been fishing dirty. Gonna go, go fishing dirty. <laughs> ah. Sea shanty. Don't know it. Don't know sea shanty. I know poisoning pigeons in the park. I know that pretty well. But I ain't got dick to do with fishing. <laughs> got 99 problems, but a fish ain't one. <sighs> What's some good fishing song that I might actually know? Ever play Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Most sea shanty came came from that. Nah, I didn't play Assassin's Creed Black Flag, actually. Like, the only Assassin's Creed I really played a lot of was Odyssey. I think I played a little bit of Assassin's Creed 2. And uh, that's about it for my Assassin's Creed gaming experience. Like, uh, Charlie got Assassin's Creed Valhalla... But she didn't play it that much, and I never actually played it at all. She just, she got it, she played it a little, and she was like, eh, and stopped. I was thinking of uh, the Assassin's Creed VR game. But I haven't been playing VR all that much lately, and I know something that intense would be a bit harder to get back into. Do I still need to wear glasses for VR? Uh, well, generally speaking, yeah, I have. If you wear, if you wear glasses, um, like if you're nearsighted, yes. I hear that if you're farsighted, you actually don't have to wear glasses for VR. But I can confirm that uh, being nearsighted, yeah, you need to, you need your glasses. But I also can confirm that you actually should never use your glasses. Uh, now you might be wondering, Decker, if you need your glasses for VR, but you should never use your glasses if you're playing in VR, what the fuck do you do? 
Well, fortunately, I have something here to to explain to you. Here's 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 what I got going on. Looks like a normal little via via headset now, don't it? Well, what about if what have I told you? Get this shit out of the way. What have I told you? These are little prescription lenses that go right over there. I get a custom made for my prescription. And it just goes right on there, clips on, stays on, and that way my glasses don't bash up against the lenses, scuffing both my glasses and the lenses. It takes up a lot less space, keeps everything safe. Much better solution. Unfortunately, the solution I speak of costs about a hundred smackaroonies just to be able to fucking see in your VR headset. But... Take it from me. All those glasses spacers, all those little things to say you can wear your glasses in VR because it slides out a little, this and that. Not only does it make the experience much worse and less comfortable, um, it doesn't actually fucking work. Your glasses will still hit the lenses and they will still scratch. So, avoid that shit. <laughs> get, get the inserts. They are worth it. Some is inserts are better than others. Uh, everyone swore by the Hans VR for PSVR 2. I got some of them. They didn't cost that much. They slip out all the fucking time. They were so annoying. Uh, so I spent the hundred smackaroonies and got a set from VR Optician that click in and they've stayed in and it was perfect. Ah. Uh. So yeah, that's my suggestion. If you have if you have glasses and you need glasses for VR, get a set of glasses for your VR headset. Because how many other people other than you are going to be using it anyway? And even then, even if they do, they they click in, click out. You can easily remove them. But if they wear glasses, make them not wear glasses while trying out your VR. Because it's going to scratch their lenses and it's going to scratch your headset. After a drink, maybe a hit would be interesting. Kind of a broadcast that shit. Well, if you've never done VR before, my honest suggestion would be to keep in mind what in VR makes you sick and what doesn't. Being able to run around freely and turn freely sounds great, but oh boy, if you are not used to VR, that will make you very sick. So what you gotta do is, like, games that that you don't move. Like, everything is around you and you interact with it. Like, games like uh, I Expect You to Die. They are very good for beginner VR. Games where you stay still and things come at you, like Beat Saber. That works fine. Um, and if it is a game where you have to move around and such, teleportation movements... Vignettes, snap turning, all those things really do help you not feel sick. You are prone to motion sickness? So am I. It took me... I, 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 it took me a while to... Oof. Just... Being in the passenger seat in a car is a rough fucking time for me. <laughs> to this day... But I've gotten some very intense VR VR gaming experiences, and I've done pretty well by them, I think. Uh, I spent like 150 plus hours in Zenith The Last City with full locomotion, flying around, going on adventures, fighting raid bosses. It was a, it was a grand old time. And then they had their big update that changed a lot of stuff, and they made the melee combat not as fun, in my opinion, and I kind of lost interest. Damn it. <laughs> Worried about physical surroundings? Hmm. Yeah, that's, that is one thing. Uh, it's, it's not so much 
not as much anymore, but I remember when I started with VR, there was a that weird feeling where you would easily lose track of where you are. And it's like you you you, you put on the headset, you go into the virtual world, you, you play your games, you do your thing, and especially if it's a game where you're standing up and you're moving around a bit. Like, but when it's time, headset comes off, you've teleported. <laughs> and it's like, oh, shit, this is where I am. <laughs> Thing I really hate here in Canada is almost everything is paid by health insurance except dentists and the fucking glasses. Glasses aren't a luxury. I need them to fucking live. Yeah, yeah, and uh, your dental health is tied, like, extremely closely to the rest of your physical health. A lot of stuff, like, if things aren't going right in your mouth, it's going to affect your whole body. Uh, that's, that's a thing I've known for a while, because things have not gone in my, well in my mouth for my whole fucking life. <laughs> Uh, they've gone a lot better a lot more recently. I had to stop getting work done because everything went to shit with YouTube. And the economy. But, uh... Still, the work I did get done has exponentially improved my health. It's, I, I, I'm doing so much better. Like, it, it's, it's, a, it's a really weird thing. I feel... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's weird, because it's the only perspective I have, but... Like, from where I stand just observing the rest of the world around me, the opinion is, like, ah, once you hit 30, it's over. Ah, once you hit 40, that's when parts just stop working of your body. Everything's all fucked and, uh... And, yeah, there have been instances where certain things have become a bit harder. But overall, for the most part, I'm getting stronger and healthier the older I get. <laughs> so... I was a very sick and unhealthy child. <laughs> I was un I was malnourished. I was I was had a really bad time, and I, it it carried a lot of problems for a long time. I might have too big of a fucking hook size on this. I may need to go get my ass some crankbait with a smaller hook size. Nothing's biting. Quite possibly, nothing can. Well, look who it is, my buckaroo. Oh, yeah, go away, buckaroo. Go away. You there. Fancy a new rod? They'd be flying off the shelves if I had any. Local souvenirs. I'll be over here. Any equipment. Ah, there we go. There's the tackle box expansion. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Mm. Okay. Backpack expansion. Why not? Okay. Oh, that's why not. Now I'm broke. Uh... Okay. Crank bait hook size six. And look size eight. So that should be good for us. Now we have a fourth slot for our rods. Nice. I'm not even using it, but let's try the six. See if we catch anything on the six. Hey, Anubis. Hello, hello. We're just going fishing, trying to get myself some bass. Now, first I was catching a bunch of tiny little bass, and I, I need to catch a gold rank largemouth. And so I went to get a bigger, bigger hook on my crankbait. But I think I got too big of a hook because I went from catching a bunch of tiny fish to catching nothing. <laughs> so... I went and I bought some smaller hooks. I'm using the larger of the smaller hooks. See if anything bites. If it doesn't, then I'll go for the slightly smaller. 
tree. Tree, 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 tree. Okay, we're fine. shot my destination again. Fine. It's, it's okay. We're just relaxing, fishing, having some brews. As you do's. Throw it on out there. And let's bring it on. Let's slow this down. Slow it down. Bring it in slow. Ghost peppers in your salads. Worst idea ever. Yeah! Who the hell wants a salad? Jesus, man. Fucking psychopaths out here. It's briskets. Briskets, how you doing? Twenty-eight. I could not walk for more than five minutes before suffering back pain and having trouble breathing. At 34, you can walk for four hours straight. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. With... With, uh, how... I, for me, it, it wasn't a, an issue of weight. But just... Other... Other health problems that are... Not as easy to see. It was just childhood malnourishment that led to... Uh... Early tooth decay... Which led to a whole lot of, like, internal issues and... Just, you know... When you got a massive bacteria farm in your head, it kind of fucks you up. It kind of fucks up your body in several ways. So... Yeah, I've just... I've... Improved how I'm doing over the years. And it's just... I'm thinking, like, okay, about when am I supposed to start feeling weaker or, like, feeling age coming on? Because, on the one hand, you know, possibly thanks to ADHD as well, I'm here, like, I don't really feel any different mentally than I did when I was 14 fucking years old. I'm the same guy. Uh, hello, Fukushikaru. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, but also... Just physically, I, I've i continued to just improve. Which always reminds me a bit of the line in The One starring Jet Li, where his wife is telling him that when people get older, they're supposed to get weaker, not stronger. Which, you know, if you remember in, in that, it's, it, I, I reviewed it. It's a fun movie. I highly recommend it. Uh, it was just a thing where there was a multiverse and there was an evil counterpart who figured out that when any version of him died in any of the multiverses, the amount of energy being distributed per each of them got that much... Yeah, like, there's like a total amount of energy that goes out to to all versions of you out in the multiverse. So if one of them dies, the total amount of energy stays the same, but it's divided up into less people. So each individual person gets stronger. And unbeknownst to Jet Li, Jet Li was evil in the multiverse and going about killing all of his counterparts to become more powerful. And therefore, evil Jet Li was going to meet good Jet Li at some point, and they were going to have a superhuman combat. And good Jet Li would have to fight off with his super strength that he didn't realize was super strength, and he was going to have to unlock true super strength with the knowledge, is going to have to fight off evil Jet Li. And that's just kind of how it goes. Steven Seagal multiverse is just this world. <laughs> Uh, Jet Li is your favorite Highlander? Yeah. yeah I, I, I fucking loved the one. That was, that was a really fun movie. 
a bronze largemouth bass. A bronze? I got a fucking bronze? I'm using the bigger of the hooks that I bought. So maybe my bigger, uh, my giant fucking crankbait actually would still work? Oh, now that shouldn't be. No, I need a gold largemouth bass. What's this fucking bronze? <laughs> Uh <sighs> Yeah, good enough. I guess it's still a largemouth bass. It's not like it's a smallmouth. We, we we weeded those out. We're not catching the smallmouths anymore. I was worried, because it's like it says go here, catch a largemouth. I got smallmouth and crappy. But here we got a largemouth. So at least those sons of bitches are swimming around here. Now let's catch the big one. Love Jet Li in Lethal Weapon 4. He had to slow down because his moves wouldn't register on film. Yeah, that's that's the thing with with the standard for movies being 24 frames a second. Uh, it wasn't just Jet Li. It was also uh, Wesley Snipes in Demolition Man. Was we Wesley Snipes knows. God, what is the style Wesley Snipes knows? Like, he's he is a martial artist. And... He had to slow down. <laughs> he, he had to physically slow down because his punches and kicks would be too fast for 24 fa frames a second to actually register. Wesley Snipes is a fifth Dan black belt in Shotokan, Shotokan Karate. At a second degree black belt in Hapkido. All right. Yeah. He also practices Kung Fu, Capoeira, Escrima, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Oh. Yeah, see, I, I, now I feel slightly less impressive that I got to third degree brown in American Kenpo Karate Parker style. Like, woohoo! <laughs> Blade Wesley Snipes and Dolph Lundgren Punisher should be considered in the MCU. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's also a black belt in tax evasion. T true. But, I mean... Taxation is theft. So, I mean, I can't hold it against him. Speaking of taxation, like, that's that's a thing that uh, Charlie is now having to worry about for the first time in her life, because she's done well enough in streaming. She's actually making money for the first time ever in her life. And, uh, because she's disabled and does receive SSI for her disability, that means that this has opened up an entire can of worms that she has no idea what to do with because now she's making money and therefore owes the government, but she's also getting income from the government for not being able to make money, meaning the money she makes is therefore, like, taxed at around 100%, maybe? <laughs> like, we, we're not entirely sure it, how this completely works. And we're going to have to figure this out because next year she's going to have to file. Parker style? Was it spider themed? Uh, well, the the, the American Kenpo Karate has uh, two branches. There's Parker style and Tracy style, um, and there's a rivalry between Parker style and Tracy style. Uh, because uh, Parker was the sort of 
originator of uh, that that that's that was like the first branch was Parker style. And Tracy style broke off of that, at least according to Parker. That's what that's where I, that's the perspective I'm coming from. Parker style is Miyagi Do, Tracy style is Cobra Kai. That's that's according to Parker. <laughs> that's definitely <laughs> The, the the story according to Parker, but I understand I'm hearing it from the perspective of Parker style, and the perspective of Tracy style is a bit different. <laughs> Oof! All right, all right. Is this guy fighting? Is this guy tiny? Show us the name of the actor Twilight Edward. Anyway, I don't see him has has Bruce Wayne, but recognize he will be good and has a good Nightwing. Has a good Nightwing or Batman? A Bat Batman Beyond. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, he he would not make a bad Terry McGinnis. He really wouldn't. I could see that. Now, with the Twilight movies, it was mainly Bella that was just, like, a plank. So. <laughs> Make a good no-retreat, no-surrender movie? Hmm. I mean, there's there hasn't really been a resolution or an all-out war between Parker and Tracy. There's just been a lot of, like, high school drama. Now, according to Parker's style, they're like... You know, Tracy style is just a bunch of little prissy little whiny sons of bitches. But they think that we need to, like, do all this extra bullshit to look pretty while we're fighting. But that's not what it's about. It's about being serious. It's about being a fucking proper self-defense martial art. So that people may defend themselves. And you can't defend yourself if you're looking pretty. You defend yourself if you're doing a good job at what you're doing. But Tracy Style, as I said, has a different opinion on exactly why the breakup happened. And I'm not 100% on it because, like I said, I was trained in Parker Style. So I don't know exactly... <laughs> what the opinion is from Tracy Style. I have seen it a little bit here and there. And... Like, I know it's very different <laughs> than what they teach in the Parker schools. <laughs> but of course it has to come up because they're like, we teach American Ken Bell Karate Parker Style. And then it's like, a hand up, it was like, what do you mean Parker style? And they're like, the style of Parker as opposed to the style of Tracy. Who the fuck's Tracy? What's that about? Well, I'll tell you all about those little fucking betrayers, Tracy, and the shit they do and how not good their karate is. So... <laughs> Top runaway train with John Voights. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Really love the review of the Batman Beyond movie. Ah, yeah. That was that was one where it was like I wanted to review that movie for a while, and then Batman died, and it was like, oh, well, no time like the present. Though I also learned a few things in the process, like the clown makeup and everything. I enjoyed d doing it, but there was like, I didn't apply the green hair wax quite as good as I could have. 
Um, I did not use any talcum powder, which would have helped a lot in preventing the face makeup from transferring. <laughs> I just had straight makeup and that was it. <laughs> Uh, Kevin Conroy passed, yeah. And uh, watching Batman Beyond, the, the the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker movie, and the words Kevin Conroy said as Bruce Wayne to Terry McGinnis in regards to what gives Batman their worth, it's it was a fitting send off to Kevin Conroy's Batman. Because we have lost that Batman. Because Kevin Conroy is what gave Batman his... He's what made that Batman. He really is. His, his presentation, his voice acting. <sighs> Parker and Tracy, the Romeo and Juliet of the 2000s. Uh, well, Tracy was also a dude, so... <laughs> We're taking graduation exams in high school. Two guys got in a fight over a girl. One thought I was bad because he took... Th thought it was bad because he took karate. The other guy got up from his desk and laid the karate kid out in one punch and walked out of the principal's office. Yeah, there's that too. Uh, I remember there was one one dojo I went to when mine went uh, bankrupt. And that sensei, he was pretty... pretty hard on... Uh, hardcore on... Okay. We're teaching American current no karate here. We're teaching Parker style. And it's supposed to work. And you know what fucking sucks? Is when you hear about these kids that go up and they go and they learn karate. In the meantime, they hardly freaking have any kind of respect for the art at all. It's like, hey, why don't you do this, this, uh, kata? And he's like, and the sensei's just there in the corner like, Great job, Billy! Here's your belt! No. It's not how we do things over here. We go up to a guy, and he's there trying to, trying to make his moves on you, and you're there like, I'm a black belt. And all they can do is sneer and say, You know how many black belts asses I've kicked? No. No, that ain't how we do it in this dojo. You are going to train. I went to the fucking Turtle Dojo. It was fun. It was great. I'm not complaining. But man, he worked us. <laughs> oh, we did laps. We did jumping jacks. We did push-ups. We fucking worked out. <laughs> we became warriors under this sensei. <laughs> oh, it was a good time. It was a good time. I miss those days. Oh, only dojo. I know it's not your normal genre. What about a review of best of the best? I'm not. I'm, it's, I'm drawing a blank. Only dojo I live near is for Brasilia Jiu Jitsu. Hmm. Uh, there's a the only do where I live now. We have a Jiu Jitsu dojo in town. Somehow, like the one thing we have, we have a Jiu Jitsu dojo. Maybe I could go to Mooney's Jiu Jitsu and be like, Hey, Mooney. Teach me jujitsu. <laughs> I don't know. All took karate when I was a kid. My mom is seventy now. I can still split, and can still split a board with a kick. Nice. Don't know karate, but I do know the fighting style. Whoop your butt. Ah, it, all, all you really need to know is boot to the head. <sighs> Forklift man sent you. Nice. 
Forklift man shall lift us all. It is forklift. And these fucking bass just don't want to bite my fucking bait. What's wrong with these fucking bass? Bass! Eat the bait! Get your big bass ass off. I see you over there. I see you, bass. You, right there. Right there. Bass. Don't swim that way. Swim this way. You, bass turd. <sighs> Master Roshi versus Sparky Polistari with the Holy Sparks. Will I play the Jurassic Park Survival Brigade when it runs out? Oh, I do want to. It reminds me... The, the, the trailers have reminded me a lot of Alien Isolation, and I really liked Alien Isolation. So... We can hope. We can hope. I still like my dinosaurs, even though Jurassic Park doesn't care about scientifically accurate dinosaurs anymore. The JP Survival Horror makes you angry. It makes you angry? Why are you angry, J Blame Josh Gaiman? Universal forced a fan project to shut down, then all of a sudden they make this. Oh. Oh. So. Hmm. That's awful sus. I was not aware of the fan project. Oh, we wouldn't notice. Well, blame Josh Gaming. In my defense, I didn't know about the fan project, but now that you bring it up, it's incredibly sus. Because when it comes to Jurassic Park video games, they have been absolutely nowhere near the area that would naturally go towards JP Survival. Like, that... That is not where we have seen them. So, it does beg the question of how they ended up in that position. And if there is, if there was, if there was the fan game that was that, and they forced it to shut down, clearly indicating they knew about it, and then they announced this, it kind of says, hey, they're stealing the fucking idea. Especially since this was announced with a CGI trailer, no actual gameplay. Just a fucking animation. It does look good, but it reeks of we fucked some fans. Yeah. That is sad. Oh, this one's a strunk motherfucker. He's still losing. Probably gonna be a silver. But we finally got something bigger than a bronze. Wait, is it a bass or is it something else? Uh, I didn't know bass. It's a bronze northern pike. God damn. You sub... Mm. You bastard. That's what you is. is a bass turd. Well, I get why the dinosaurs don't look accurate to more recent discoveries. If you're introduced a two-meter velociraptor and... In the sequel, they're chicken size. It doesn't really work. Well, that's true, but they did also discover the Utah Raptor after the release of Jurassic Park, which was effectively what the Jurassic Park Velociraptor was, so <laughs> that was kind of a happy coincidence right there. I've been playing with Popper 2 at Goldenstein's, Goldenstein's location for hours, and they don't come. Any tips? Just send it in the chat so I can translate it. Oh, well... Translate to what? I assume that means you do not speak English, but I do not. Like, I assume Goldstein is a legendary fish, but I am not that far. I have not experienced that at all in this game yet, so I am not the person to ask. I am very sorry, but I do not know. Could someone tell Dramak that... I am 
not aware. I do not know. Because I can't check because I'm fishing. I got the mouse in one hand and a beer in the other. And I got a cat on the... I got my cat, like, right here on the computer desk. And my dog in the bed. Okay, have you thought about covering the movie 65? It's like Planet of the Dinosaurs. Ooh! That would be fantastic for Dino Semper. I think it's been recommended before. But I keep forgetting about it because... Body oh! Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow, Dramak. Thank you, thank you. Could someone please tell, tell Dramak in chat? I forgot. I, I, I cast before I could type. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me type it out. I'm sorry. Dra, uh, at Dramak. But I am not that far in the game. I assume that is a legendary fish. I don't have any advice, I'm afraid. Boom, there we go. Okay, best of the best movie about a ta Taekwondo competition against Korea came out in 94. Stars James Earl Jones. Ah! Wait, James Earl... Stars James Earl Jones in a Taekwondo competition in 1994. James Earl Jones in 94. Taekwondo. He's the coach. Okay, well, that, okay. I, 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 uh, my mind was going, like, Morpheus territory. Oh, the Rampage movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That could be interesting. That could be fun. That could be a fun time. Okshigaru mentioned comparing 65 and Planet of the Dinosaurs a few times. Funny there, almost the same movie, but Planet of the Dinosaurs from the 70s does the plot better. Planet of the Dinosaurs does the plot better? Oh, God. Okay, now I definitely have to watch this movie. <laughs> now that you, you've sold me on it. You've sold me on it. You've told me this movie is kind of shitty. <laughs> I have to see it now. <laughs> Oh. Come on, bass. Come on, bass. I see a little fishy right over... Okay, now I can't see him. Can I see him if I increase the... Uh... I do the view. No, I can't. No, I can't. Also interested in the canon or not thing with the JP Survival Horror, because I tried making the Telltale game canon for a bit there, and that made no fucking sense. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know if the JP Survival Horror is supposed to be canon or not yet. I would imagine that they're trying to have it fit there. But the whole thing was... The whole thing about that is that... The whole thing about uh, the JP Survivor... Is that the character you play as was totally there the entire time. We just never noticed her before now. And she also... Miss the fucking boat, and miss the fucking helicopters of everyone just saying fuck it and leave. She just somehow was unnoticed by absolutely everyone. And now she's there all alone like, fuck, what do I do? <laughs> Which is an interesting situation to be in, but at the same time, if you're trying to say that that totally really happened. It's fully, it's, it's canon. It's canon. That's what it is. It's, uh... It, it does bring up some questions. <laughs> uh, 
and unnoticed by dinosaurs the whole time everyone else was fucking dying. True. Like, the, most of the crew at Jurassic Park evacuated because of the storm. Like, they didn't oh, even... Oh, now that shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. The, like, most people were already gone long before shit really hit the fan. Because it was just, uh, you know, imp other, everyone other than absolute... Like emergency personnel who had to go. Just so, how did they miss the boat? Is another question that has to be answered. What situation did they end up in that no one fucking checked on them, including the people who were still left? Like, they couldn't have still been emergency personnel, or everyone else would have been like, okay, and they're here. They never did that. So, they had to have been one of the people who were supposed to evacuate, but for some reason didn't. And also were in a situation that they would just not be noticed by all the main characters in the first movie, who were doing their thing while shit were going tits up, and not be in a situation that would have compromised them to dinosaurs. Alcohol was involved, I assume. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, they're like, okay. Everyone coming. The show's going well. The lawyer's all uh, on board. Jurassic Park will definitely be opening. We're going to have a party. Boom, boom, pop the champagne. Woo! And she get fucking crunk. And, like get lost going back to her room and pass out in a closet somewhere. And by the time she wake up, she's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's what happened. Don't understand how anybody thought the dinosaur were a threat to human survival in the JPJW movies. They aren't bulletproof or invulnerable. Yeah, well, see, in the original Jurassic Park, in the novel and... I, I think it's hinted out a little bit. It's hinted out a little bit in the first movie. Like, they fired shotgun rounds that did nothing. And bull pistol bullet holes appeared in the w window. But either way, like, nothing actually happened. But all we saw was that uh, Hammond was reacting very negatively to hearing the sounds of gunfire. Um... But it's explained more in the novel, and it's actually incorporated into the Sega Genesis video game, that the dinosaurs were extremely fucking valuable. They were not something that you could just... Like, like I mean, technically, yes, you could just shoot them and kill them. But to do so would be an incredibly expensive thing. And in the books, uh, Hammond was a lot more like, uh-uh, you ain't doing that. So the idea of shooting a dinosaur was just completely off the table. They had tranquilizers. They had stun guns. They did not, did not, did not have any plans of any sort and any kind of setup in order to actually kill the dinosaurs. That was not on the table. But you are right that they are not bulletproof. And certainly after they make so many, the value goes down. So them being such a threat, it's a little weird. Love the first Jurassic Park film as a kid, but then... Got into Mad Max, Terminator, Predator. Ah, yes. Speaking of Mad Max, anyone heard about the shit going on in Haiti right now? Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, the gangs broke into the prisons and freed the rest of the gang members. The prime minister decided to say fuck it and leave. And the current ruler of Haiti, I guess you could say is uh, the leader of a cannibal gang who goes by the name Barbecue. 
If that doesn't sound very fucking Mad Max to you, I don't know what to say. Ugh. Wait, what? Yeah, uh, Haiti. Uh, kind of fucked right now. Kind of fucked. <sighs> Ooh. Knew Haiti was going to hell fast, but shit, yeah. Although there was a there was a video that was being shared around Twitter of someone literally just chowing down on a motherfucker's disembodied calf. And people are there like it's you silly little propagandists. That video is from two years ago. And it's like, yeah, but uh did they still break out all the people from prison? And is there still the current ruler is the leader of a cannibal gang who goes by the name of Barbecue? I mean, who cares if two years ago they were already eating people? I assume the Campbell Gang's been around for a while. <laughs> oh. What do you plan to cover on the next video on the movie review channel? I still am working on the editing for the Killer Sofa review. It really should have been done ages ago, shit, Crunchy Shape Media. It's just been, oof. It's, it's a combination of just, I don't know if it's a combination of anything, it's just my mental state right now. YouTube being a, as it is, and it's, it's a very depressing thing, and it's just been very bad on my mental state. Which has not helped in me feeling enthused to get the work done. I've kept up on the kanji, I've kept up on my Japanese study, I feel very enthused about that. But I don't feel enthusiastic about the channel anymore, which is terrible. It's terrible. So I need to. I need to get that spark back. You guys are very helpful for my mental state. Tr trust me, like, as... Oh, as bad as I feel... From all, all this crap with YouTube, and all the, the way they've treated the channel, and all that... I feel worse when I don't stream. <laughs> so... Whoa, hello, big boy. Fuck! I thought that was a victory for a second, but it's a gold smallmouth bass. This is a big bass with a small mouth. I need a big bass with a big mouth. God damn it. Still good, still new record. Hot damn, yay, but fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, good enough. <laughs> oh, you're not rushing me, Country Shape Media. I'm rushing me. Uh, haven't had an internet for half a month, so don't know. Uh, well, that yeah, that that that's a problem. Uh, but yeah, it's been like a month since the last video has been, the last review has been posted. I absolutely need to like. I want to do March the Clowns this month too. We're already two weeks in, and I haven't reviewed a single fucking clown movie because I'm still... I haven't finished editing the Killer Sofa review. Yesterday, I had sat down to edit, but my freaking... Uh, power director... Not power director. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Adobe Premiere. It was just being so fucking weird. It made it so I could only... I only got a little bit done at all, and it was just... Ugh. That was annoying. Today I didn't get any editing done on it. I it I I need to sit down to edit. I have to do that. Because I have you all to like like I know I know yeah I know y'all what y'all going to say. I know y'all going to be like it's okay. Take as much time as you need. Take as much time as you need. Your mental health is important. Your, 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 your the, the health of your soul is the most important thing at all. But, getting the fucking review out is important. Try another project. Got you through college. Fight the fucking lore, you piece of shit. Oh, no. No honors, but you passed? Oh, no, good enough. Uh, 
But, uh... Power Director was about to ask about your power coin. <laughs> uh, well, Power Director is uh, Cyberlink. It's what I used for years on the channel. But when I moved to the green screen, Power Director's green screen was just not good enough, so I switched to the Adobe Suites. And because of the way Adobe has their crap stacked, uh, being able to use... In order to get the green screen actually clean and looking right, what you really need is media, uh, is Adobe After Effects. And then in order to actually get that to process at a decent fucking speed and not use, like, 20 million fucking terabytes to goddamn do it, you need Media Encoder. Because After Effects will only encode in fucking AVI by itself, unfucking compressed AVI. So you need Media Encoder to actually put that shit out in an MP4 that isn't going to take up your entire fucking SSD. Then you gotta take that shit into Premiere to do your edits. So, and the, the way they have it fucking stacked is like, in order to do the things I need to do, I have to use so many of their fucking programs, I'm best off just subscribing to their fucking creative cloud to have access to all of them. Which is annoying! <laughs> But, at the same time, I have access to Photoshop, which I really wasn't using before, and it has been helpful. But, man! That's like 600 fucking dollars a year for fucking Adobe, because of their fucking... the way they have their shit stacked. They make good stuff, but they really fucking fuck ya. They really do. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I had my, I, I that was a bit of a rant there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have opinions and emotions sometimes. I have, I have feelings. I, aren't I, aren't I a man? Do I not have a soul? This, ugh. I suffer like the rest of you. Uh, use GIMP instead of Photoshop. I used GIMP for a while. GIMP is really good, but uh, Photoshop has some fucking crazy goddamn uh, tools in there. If you prick us, do we not bleed? <laughs> if it is a light prick, is it not my one weakness? Uh. Anywho, anyway, I'm almost out of this beer. I'm going to have to get another one. Funny thing, though. Like, I got two beers for streaming tonight. Yes, Crony, I got two. I got two, so I'd be ready for the long haul. But then... Unbeknownst to me, but beknownst to my fiance, uh, Poulter decided that she was going to stream tonight, which was a bit of a surprise to me because she streamed last night. And lately she's been kind of like off and on, like I'll stream today, but then not today, but then not the next day, and then I'll stream, and then not. Like, I'm used to her streaming, like having a break day two days in a row, but not a stream day two days in a row. So she is streaming today, which is good. I'm very happy about that. But normally, normally when she's streaming, I'll take the time to be like, well, my time's up. I gotta get on that uh, Japanese uh, grammar learning with my uh, Genki. And so, good night, everybody. Please enjoy the raid to Poltergimp. But, uh, I, I'm in for the long haul with a fishing stream and two giant beers. The fuck do I do now? <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a... I mean, I mean I'm only, uh... I, I still have, like, an hour left, and I'm almost out of one, so I could still crack in the open... Uh, crack open the next one. Good. Nothing's stopping me. Or I could be responsible and sober and be like, Nah, I'm not gonna drink anymore. 
I'm going to just enjoy fishing and chatting with people. And I will sober up before t quitting time, raid Boulder Gimp, and go into my Japanese study with a nice clear head. For all the subs and bits she received on her birthday, you can understand why. God damn it, blame Josh Kimmy. <laughs> for being responsible and sober? For being responsible and sober. I said, it's a possibility. <laughs> it's a possibility. That is, like, the future. There's no fate but what we make, okay? Okay, there is no fate but what we make. Oh. Now you can call me a nerd. I'm quoting, quoting Terminator for this shit. Uh, oh, yes, I know you're going to be okay with everything. I pick country shape media. Like I said, the, the chatters especially, the vocal ones, you guys tend to be my super fans. Like, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> oh, but, like, I, if I have to hold myself to... A standard. You, you, you guys do tend to be a lot looser and more forgiven about things. So I, I, I gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> Not like it's a weekday. Wait. Uh, oh, yeah. It is a uh, Mokuyobi. It's Wood Day. Thursday. Uh, well, I'm just saying, those two things aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. Lo lo loving and calling me annoyed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it was all just a dream. Ah, th thank you, thank you, Brud. Thank you, thank you, Brud Smart Parsnif, for the gift sub and congratulations, Metallic Madness. Ah, I love that zone. Badass music. At least I think it is. A lot of people say the American uh, soundtrack doesn't count, but I don't know. That's the one I had when I was. When I was playing Sonic CD on my Sega CD. Whew. I like how the Sega CD had... Uh, Sonic CD on the Sega CD had the special stages in Mode 7 graphics. Just like, being like, yes, yeah, Super Nintendo, look at that. We can do Mode 7 as well. With a two hundred dollar CD expansion add-on. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, Decker nerd shadow Maxime. Ah, yeah, nerd's my middle name. Nerd's my middle name. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here talking about studying my Japanese. I'm feeling very happy with my Japanese progress. Honestly, uh, my kanji study, this morning I got, like, a lot more wrong than usual, but it, I, in general, I am understanding so much more. Like, it was just some very hard questions today. <laughs> it was some very difficult quizzes, and I got stuff wrong. I don't know everything. I'm still learning. That's the whole point of the quizzes. But there's just so much where I'm reading and I can... I can actually fucking read it. I've been going back to the reading exercises where it's like learn kanji through the... Learn kanji and the pronunciation through the natural process of reading. So I do the reading exercises on my kanji study and I'm actually able to fucking read them now. Like, and, and understand them from, from the base. Uh, let, let me get back over to my kanji study right quick. Let's see. Graded reading sets. Study. Uh, let's go back to lesson one. Uh, ichi ni tsukoto ni. Once every day. Yep. Ichi ni tsuka sugita. Ichi ni tsuka sugita. Sugita. A day passed. Okay, excuse me. Ichinichi isogashi. Busy every day. Oh, hibi isogashi. Hibi. Okay. 
busy every day. Okay, duh. Well, I got the I got the meaning right, but I didn't read the kanji right. You see, that's the thing. I can see the kanji. I can fuck up how to pronounce it. But I understand the meaning, because kanji is a... Kanji itself is a really uh, odd writing style, because it imparts the meaning first. And you're going to have to fucking already know the word to know how to pronounce it right. So I get the meaning. I can read and understand the meaning, but I fuck up. That's that's where I fuck up, is in the pronunciation and understanding all the words. I gotta keep on my grammar and working on my Genki to be able to really fully grasp everything. But th there are things that has, have been crossing over pretty well. Uh, what was the recent thing in kanji study where it popped up and I was like, Oh yeah, that, I know that. I was like, I... Got a few 7 p.m. Twitchers. I'm happy when I see Decker is one. I do multi-tabbing, and I'm used to listening to multiple voices at once. So Poulter's on that tab. Ah, okay, Night of Sarcasm. That's cool. I like to support support Charlie whenever possible. All right, let me, let me fire up on my phone. <laughs> I can do that. da 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 do Let's she let's dark some souls. Right? Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. She got eleven viewers right now. She's doing real good for herself. I I'm very proud of how far Charlie's gone. Hey Buckaroo, down what? on the range if you need me. You 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 heard me talking about learning my Japanese, didn't you? You heard me. You heard me talking about my Japanese progress? And you had to pop in with a little hay buckaroo, didn't you? She's still working on the classroom demon. Ooh. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Like, I didn't play Dark Souls, let alone Dark Souls Remastered. But I did see her playing a little earlier. And... Like, yesterday, <laughs> as in. And that fucking demon is just a fucking... Oof. He's a fucking fuck, I'll tell you that. Is that little crappy gonna bite the bait? You, you, you bass right there. Bite the bait. I can see these fucking fish! To this day, you have no idea how Elden Ring beat God of War Ragnarok? I, I really like Elden Ring, personally. I was thinking about getting back to that a little bit on stream, because the, the DLC's coming, and... There is plenty I still haven't really done with my character, but, like, that's on Xbox, like, not natively on PC. But I do have Elden Ring on PC. But the character I have on PC is a caster. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an arcane caster. And, because I wanted to see the, uh, I wanted to see the difference of being a mage. And dear god, mages are fucking stressful. Oh. Trying to learn French with a rule and exception. The fun part, being English speakers speak French is using the wrong pronoun for object because objects have genders in French. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the thing. And a, a thing I have to get used to in Japanese is that all nouns are both singular and plural. So that's... Uh, that, that's that's the thing where I'm... Um, I have to get used to it. <laughs> there are a couple of nouns like that in English. But people in English, speaking English, try their best to make it not that way. Like I've said before in several rants. Fish. Fish is fish. There is no such word as fishes. And everything, including the goddamn Twitter account for the Oxford Dictionary. I will nerd on this. I will nerd on this. I will nerd the fuck out of this point. The word fish is always both singular and plural. 
<laughs> it is. Fish is singular and plural. There is no such word as fishes. Fishes is not a word. It does it is not grammatically correct. There is no such word as fishes. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter if you're speaking of species or individual fish or different types of fish. They're all fish. It's just fish. That's the word. Fish. God Lord. damn it. <laughs> uh. I'm just saying, those two things aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. Uh, it, they kind of, it, it, they, no, it, it, it's only fish. It's only, it's never fishes. It's only fish. It's only fish. Attempted murder. I, th that's, I will accept that before I accept fishes. It's fish. It is fish. That's the word. Fish. No matter. <laughs> no matter what you're talking about. It's fish. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh, now that shouldn't be. <laughs> it's. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay, Tara. My cat here. My cat here. She's just looking at me like... She's looking at me like, Hey, what the heck are you doing over here? You is losing your dang mind. I'm trying to rest on this controller with my butt on your keyboard, as I do. Why are you yelling at this this thing? I've got heat coming out of that computer down there. I'm happy. I'm happy. Let my butt be on your keyboard and me, uh, I'll be stealing your computer heats. Right here. So, stop yelling so much. Okay, tear girl. Aw. Okay, okay. It's okay, Tara. I just gotta stop at some point because I gotta keep fishing. I'm catching fish. You love fish. Uh, do I give her fishes? Oh, she she loves the uh, fish flavored pate. Or, well, I mean fish pate. Friskies fish pate cans. Oh, like Friskies variety seafood pate and and cat food. That looks like a beefy little boy. A silver largemouth bass. We're getting there. We're getting there. One thing I never understood even to this day in English is you use you for a single person, also for multiple person. Well, for multiple people, it's more like all of you. Yeah, good enough. Or... Hmm. Like, all of you, or... 
Like, I'm trying to think of a point where you locked. Yeah. The South fixed that with y'all. Yeah. Y'all is kind of a you all, which is both for group and for singular. <laughs> it's just y'all. How y'all doing, eh? That could be that could be for like uh, any number of people, including one or zero. In case you're streaming to nobody, just pop on the stream like, "Hey, I'm fishing today. How y'all doing? Great, good to hear." <laughs> just don't say "bless your heart." Well, it depends. I mean, you can say "bless your heart," but it depends on the tone. Like, there's a difference between "bless your heart" and Oh, bless your heart. That's a pretty big gulf between intentions. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. <laughs> you trans to translates to you, but vo also translates to you. I'm not sure what to and vo are, and I also am pretty sure I'm not pronouncing either of those correct. Like, there's not even a to in Japanese, it's tsu. Ta chi tsu te to. Interesting. Interesting. Oh god, that reminds me of another thing. You guys, get ready with your nerd your nerd redeems because here's a thing that really fucking bothered me for a while just because it sounded silly to me. And now that I've been learning Japanese, it sounds even sillier. You know, Aerith. Aerith. How in the original um, English in the original English version of of uh, Final Fantasy VII, it was translated as Eris. And... Nerd! And immediately, immediately, uh, American weebs in the 90s were there like, it's actually Aerith. It, they, they thought we couldn't pronounce Aerith Nerd! right, so they said it, they made it Eris, but it's really Aerith. And now in the fucking remake, it's Aerith. Except in Japanese, where I can actually fucking read it now because I've been studying Japanese, and you know what her name is in Japanese? Iaris! Iaris! Nerd! You know the funniest part about Aerith? There is no th sound in Japanese! It doesn't exist! Nerd! It doesn't exist! <laughs> It can't be Aerith, because there is no th. It isn't fair. No. But her name is a play on Earth, which is why people were like, oh, that would be Aerith. But only if you improperly fucking no. translate. Only if you're a shitty localizer. Only if you're a shitty localizer, like, well, I guess it's Earth, so it must be th, because th is in Earth. But the damn name in Japanese is Earith. 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 No! God damn. It's like how they say that say Iris were weird in Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. Easy fix. Call her Terra. There we go. I'm just saying those two things aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. No, they're not. Like a Terra can be star or Earth. It's like heavenly body. Now, Earth is a heavenly body. Oh, now that shouldn't be. I, it, it, I mean, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel that way, but it is. Like, like you are part of the universe. You're spinning around. You're like, whoo, there you go. <laughs> Attempted murder. Ah, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I will defeat these damn bullshit ass things. Ah. Uh. Ugh. 
Okay. Okay. I gotta get me another beer. So what am I gonna do? Should I just stare here at the stand here staring at the water? Is that gonna entertain you guys while I go grab another beer? I also got a piece, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, I, I I guess we could just stare at the water. Well, at least the subs will st just stare at the water. I'm gonna try and hit some ad breaks oh, for those of you who aren't subs, so I can make the money. That's right. That's right. I'm making the cash. That's right. In, in theory, I don't know. There's like 20 people on Twitch and 22 on YouTube, which means when I hit their ad breaks, it's probably gonna go down. Which sucks. But, I mean, would you rather see an ad for Dr. Pepper or a, a, a lake? What is wrong with my thumb? Oh, oh, that's right. I'm wearing that glove. That is my thumb. I thought my thumb was just dying or something, and, like, the rest of the hand was, like, normal. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. I'm going to... going to get that set real quick. Be back in a jiffy. Yeah, you like Aerith better? You had a friend, but Ezaris is correct. Had a friend who grew up in Japan, and she had a similar rant. Fair. Weebs like to, like to, I mean, I like me some weebness. I'm not gonna lie. But, as I've been learning more Japanese, there's more and more things I see with weebs just getting a lot of shit really wrong. <laughs> sorry, blame Jeff. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Later. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Beautiful. And now we're 1918. Yep, lost some viewers. <laughs> As what happens. <laughs> uh, Tara decided to say fuck it and leave, but you know, he's allowed. He's allowed, she's a cat. She gotta do what she gotta do.
Jack of the Box is still in business? Well, we got... Of all the fucking things we don't have in my town, we have a Jack in the Box. I mainly see it as the place that people deal weed, but, yeah, like, they, they do sell food there. <laughs> Oof. Can't hang out for long, but just up my Patreon to eight dollars. Want to know if you're going to do any other full moon movie reviews? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, today's uh, t today. Well, today and like, um, Kagetsu, Kagetsuwa, Sangetsu. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kuranzu no Sangetsu. Kuranzu no Nitsute. Wa Song Sangetsu. Yes. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I'm fucking up. I'm drinking a lot. And I'm I'm speaking fucking broken as fuck Japanese anyway. Uh, it's Marshall Clowns. <laughs> it's Marsha the Clowns, and the, uh, the, the Killjoy movies are one that I need to keep going on. And those, those are all full moon. Uh, April, we got the 420 special coming up. That's gonna be another evil bong. I've done so many evil bongs. Which one was the last one? 666, that's right. There's all, still evil bong 777. And Evil Bong 888 Infinity High. And then however many fucking Evil Bong movies they made since the last time I checked. It's an animated movie Mike like called Lord Legend of Ravaging Dynasties. Kinda hard for you to describe, but it's one of those things you have to see to understand. Legend of Ravaging Dynasties. Like, Ravaging can mean a lot of things. If you watch enough, al got enough alcohol and or weed to watch an asylum film, you're good. I don't know, last time I had alcohol before writing a movie review, I got more stuff wrong than I wanted to, and I was like, no, that's bad. So I've, I've stopped drinking when I'm watching the movies. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, that's my neck. It just went crack, crack, crack. Did you all hear that? Did you all hear that? Ooh. Try it again. Oh, okay, it was not crack, crack, that was just a little crack. Oof. Time and game, night fish, or... No, no, we're supposed to get a day fish with this kind of bait in this spot. Like, this is the spot we have to do it. <laughs> we're supposed to get a gold rank, and this bait is called a bronze rank, so it's not too big of a hook. <laughs> they just... Don't fucking like me. Looks like wuxia, Chinese fantasy, but a lot of Korean mag manga, and they also have a lot of wuxia stuff in them, too. Hmm. hmm. Oh yeah, also, uh, want to mention, I'm still, like, because it was Zenithus, right? I believe it was Zenithus who gifted me the, uh, on Steam, G gifted me, uh... 
game, bugs, shooting, thing, the democracy. Two hell divers two, D -d gifted me hell divers two on Steam. Uh, but I haven't redeemed it because I'm still like I don't like the DRM. I really don't. <laughs> The, 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 it's not really, I mean, it's, uh, the anti-cheats, I should say. It's, it's not so much DRM as it is anti-cheats. It's a kernel-based thing that it effectively gets into your system like malware. And it is very difficult to get out. And that's like, ugh, I don't want that. <laughs> but I, the game, I really fucking want to play. <laughs> And I'm like, God damn it! It's like literally been gifted to me. Someone spent money, their hard-earned money, in this fucking economy. And I'm just sitting here like, No, I don't like that kernel in there. No, I'm not gonna do that. And it's like, ugh. Oh. There was somewhere I was going to go with that, but I kind of got too caught up in the one thing that I completely fucking forgot what else I was going to say. <sighs> Maybe I need my bait to dress and drag and do the hula to get the fish's attention. Ooh, wow! Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do the trick. If there's night fish to be had, get ready. Oh, there's plenty of night fish to be had. They, those, that most of my quests are for fucking night fish. Not for fucking the night fish. It's for night fish. And to emphasize that it's night fish, I said fucking as an emphasis. I do not intend to fuck the night fish. The day fish, on the other. We're getting a large mouth bass here. I mean, we get them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing is, it's like I don't want the the that uh, anti cheat to be there. That's that fucking harsh and that fucking invasive on the computer. So, so frickin' ridiculous that it won't run right on the Steam Deck. Like, there's anti-cheat in... in Elden Ring. But it's anti-cheat that's just, like, enough, and it runs fine on Steam Deck. Elden Ring, on the other hand, runs, like, okay on Steam Deck. Like, the Steam Deck can handle it pretty well. It's just... It, it, it can't exactly pull 60 frames for Elden Ring. But, yeah, the, the, uh, just the kernel level anti-cheat frickin' thing just getting in there and just having the potential for all kinds of bullshit, including a keylogger in there. I really don't want that. <laughs> I, mean, I have a PS5, but I canceled my PlayStation Plus subscription when they increased the price to eighty dollars. So I'm, I'd have to subscribe again, and it's like fuck. It's a little butch. Little bitch. Small mouth bass silver. Little piece of shit. Why you look so happy when you be fishing? You be fishing for... You he... he I mean... He be fishing for this... This 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 little... Little fucking... Thing here. It's this little... Little... Little fishy gills. You get little fishy gills. Slap that fish. Slap that fish. <laughs> anyway, get the fuck out of here, fish. You're a small mouth bass. I need a large mouth bass. Get your small mouth ass out of here. 
<sighs> but I do have a PS5. I've streamed PS5 to my uh, PC before, so I could still have my OBS alerts and everything. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's obviously not as good playing PS5 streaming as it is playing it natively. Uh, partially because I have a 23-inch 1080p screen versus a 40, 50-inch something-inch uh, 4K screen in the living room, um, but. Also, yeah, yeah, Stella Blade coming. Uh, I know Charlie gonna wanna wanna stream that, but I'm feeling like I wanna stream that too. So I'm thinking of picking up my own copy of Stella Blade. Still have your PS3? So do I. Oh, which reminds me, I also have I, I purchased for fifteen bucks the uh, Echo the Dolphin. Defender of the Future for PlayStation 2, and I have a launch model PlayStation 3, so assuming the hard drive still works, I should be fine, and if it doesn't, I can still, like, get the stuff I need on, put it on a thumb drive, get a new hard drive, slap it in there. Uh, but, yeah. I can... Yeah, 3D Echo the Dolphin, the, the the Dreamcast game that got ported to PlayStation 2, Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future. I have that coming, and I do want to stream that. I've got a fucking Elgato, the PlayStation 3, beauty that it is, came at launch with HDMI. Mwah! Love it! Anyway, we gonna, we gonna fucking play some Echo. We gonna fucking play some Echo. And we're going to see that shit, and it, I'm going to have it on my OBS, and it's going to be great. I know what the fuck I'm doing when I... Uh, I fucking bought that PlayStation 3 in, like, 2010? 2011? 2010. I think I bought it in 2010. And I specifically got a launch model because I wanted the fucking backwards compatibility. That's what I was after. And most of what I played on the goddamn thing is fucking a PlayStation 1 game, Road Rash 3D. Oh, thank you, thank you, Robert Ryler. Thank you for the subscription. That, six months in advance. God damn, thank you. Thank you very much. Jesus. You want to compare your biceps to my thighs? Interesting, interesting. I... Y I mean, on the one hand, I do got some thighs. I've been biking a bit more lately because my car's all fucked. Um, but I know you've been you've been working out, so that could be a that could be a. I, I'm not so confident in my thighs at the moment compared to your biceps. I know your biceps will kick the shit out of my biceps. I mean. Ooh, look at me, Mom. I'm so strong. <laughs> uh, so much investment in a magic dolphin. Now that's commitment. Oh, I already had the PlayStation 3. I had the PlayStation 3 for 14 years. Uh, it's just if I don't... If, if the hard drive is dead on it, that's a risk. Because, like I said, I've had it for 14 years. Uh, if the hard drive is dead, I might need a new hard drive, but I'll be able to get a thumb drive to g install the boot software correctly. You can get the g get it all going right. Sign into my PlayStation account. Be everything's gonna be fine there. Should check into night fishing. Uh, what's Ooh, it is like 10.30 at night. You right, you right. Um, okay, what do what we got? Gold rank channel catfish. That's a night fish. Cheese, red worm, and leeches.
They want it over there. Okay, it's a walking dis. Hey. I'm gonna. Is there gonna be. Can, hmm. Looks like lake fishing. PS3 and Wii are the only consoles you never bought. I, uh. Like, when I. Hmm. Okay, when it, when it comes to consoles, that's an interesting story, because it's like... Uh, first console I played was the NES. Uh, asked my mom for a Nintendo. She went to the store. She saw Sonic the Hedgehog next to... Next to Super Mario Kart, and was like... They're in cars, and he's on foot, and he's going way faster than them, so fuck it, I'm getting that one. Got me a Sega. I turned into a little snotty-ass Sega fanboy like Genesis does with Nintendo. <laughs> um, got a Sega Genesis, a Sega CD, Sega 32X. Um, moved on to the Saturn, was enjoying the Saturn. Got really fucking sick and tired of all these great games coming out on PlayStation that weren't coming out on fucking Saturn. So I got a PlayStation. And then I was like, something snapped in me and I was like... I can own more than one of these. So I also got a Super Nin uh, a, a, a Nintendo 64. Went back, got a Super Nintendo. Got a got a Atari Jaguar, Atari 2600. Yes, I got a Jaguar. I could get a good, I got a great deal on the fucking thing. Why not? It's like it's more games. Um, hey, I got to play Iron Soldier. A lot of motherfuckers didn't have an Atari Jaguar. I had an Atari Jaguar. I played Iron Soldier. The fucking game was awesome. Um, and then, like, come the, the Dreamcast came out, boom, I was there, day one. Then the PlayStation 2 came out, boom, I'm there, day one. And then the, uh, the, uh, GameCube and the Xbox, boom, boom, I'm there. Like, I didn't matter that I didn't know shit about Microsoft in the games industry. I was there like, boom, Xbox, I'm getting me one of those. And then, then we move on to the uh, PlayStation, the, the sixth, sixth generation. Xbox 360 comes out. Boom, I'm there, day one. I was one of the ones that bought Cameo, the first Xbox 360 to came, game to come out, that came out like two weeks before the Xbox 360. I was there, I got that game, and I was like, boom, I got something to play on my Xbox 360 when I get it right here. Boom, got it. PlayStation 3, boom, I was in line. Yes, I uh, fucking did. <laughs> I was in line for the PlayStation 3. I got that shit. Boom. Play a uh, fucking Wii. Boom. Got that too. Played a little bit. Yay. I got a Wii. Um, then I moved to Texas. I got myself an Xbox 360 and played games. Uh, then... The eighth generation, I, I got a PC, and then the eighth generation was coming up, and I was very disappointed in the eighth generation consoles. Nothing really spoke to me. I got a Wii U. I got a Wii U, and I did not get a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. I got a Wii U, and I did not get a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One until years later. Met, met, I, uh, I, uh, me and Charlie met, and we, we hit it off, and she was more of a gamer. And she played th stuff on PlayStation, so I got a PlayStation 4. Like, well, she was playing on PlayStation 4, I got a PlayStation 4 Pro, Pro and she got the PlayStation 4 Pro because I got it for her, which means I got her PlayStation, which means we could play together on console right there. And then I was like, okay, well, we're back at it. Uh, the, the fucking Nintendo shows up with a Switch, I'm like, I'm getting this right away! I got the Switch right there. Um... And then, like, in 2019-ish, I was there, like... Or is it 2018 or 2019? Either way, I was there, like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get an Xbox One. I'll get the Xbox One X. Got one of those. Uh, got it refurbished. It was broken as shit. It could hardly work. But, hey, af shortly after I got that, it was announced that fucking Fantasy Star Online 2 was finally coming to America for Xbox and I'm like, shit, yeah, I fucking got in at the right time. <laughs> so, 
there we go. I got like I I I went from like in the start of the eighth generation, I was like out of it, and then in the end of the eighth generation, I got right back into the consoles. And so in the ninth generation, boom, here we are. I got the uh, I got the Xbox Series X day one. And PlayStation 5 was a bit tougher to get, but I got it. And so I, I, I got that. I got my computer right here. I got a Steam Deck. I got my... I got my Quest 3. I'm plugged the fuck in. I ain't got no life. <laughs> I'm fucking happy. <laughs> Somehow never no owned a Nintendo console after the NES and haven't had a console since my PS4 and Xbox One days. Really thick black daddy. Does a handheld count have GBA slash XSP? Oh. I pulled out my uh, 3DS recently because... Yeah, th for some reason the, t the top of it all fucking peeled away. It, it's, I don't know what the hell was going on with the exterior of this. Uh, is my sweat that corrosive? Maybe. But... Uh, I do, I do really enjoy my 3DS. It's been, it, it, I, I had a hanker in, I pulled it out, I recharged it, I got it going again. Got an Xbox as a kid specifically for Elder Scrolls 3 Game of the Year, saw an advert back when Toonami did game ads. Ah. Where the hell am I going? The wrong fucking way, that's where I'm going. But yeah, the, the the Xbox Series console, like I, I I enjoy playing on my Xbox. But like, since I'm playing on my PC and I'm streaming, more often than not, I'll be playing a game on PC. I still like Game Pass, uh, but I'll be mostly playing on PC versus on on my Xbox. Unless it's a game that like my PC can't really handle too well, because my my computer is uh mid-range 2019 GPU and a high-end 2019 GPU. So... Oh, fishing permitted. Thank you for permitting me. Like, that was going to stop me if you didn't. There's Fantasy Star on the PlayStation Store, but you never tried it. Which Fantasy Star? Which one, read by nature? I know a good amount about the Fantasy Star games. Like, that was my... That was my RPG as as a youngin. I played Fantasy Star... Well, Fantasy Star 3 was my first Fantasy Star on Genesis. And then Fantasy Star 2, and then Fantasy Star 4, which is my favorite... Fantasy Star game. Outside of Fantasy Star Online. Fantasy, but it's like they're so different, really. Gold rank channel catfish. I can do this, I can do this. Second online one. Oh yeah, Fantasy Star Online 2. That's a that's a very fun, very fun one. I played that for a lot. <laughs> I spent so many hours in that, but I uh I've uh stopped playing it so much recently. Uh, but it's 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 a fun little action MMO. Uh, but Fantasy Star Online Two, it's two games in one because you got like the new Genesis version, which is like now onto new Genesis version two, which is its own like thing. But you can also load into Fantasy Star Online Two Base, which is arguably a better game. There's the one that came out before it. Um, but. Uh, 
Yeah, it's it's two different games with two different sets of progress. But you can sort of have the same character between both games ish. But yeah, I I I'd, I'd suggest checking it out. It's fun, definitely. And there's a lot to it. There's a there's more overwhelming information overload in Fantasy Star Online 2 base than in New Genesis. But I mean, it's 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 kind of what's going to happen anyway. Okay, I th think this will work for a channel catfish. I don't know. Let's see. We're supposed to catch this channel catfish out here. But Mang go to bed? Where's Mang? I, I missed something. Do some fly fishing as you run along the shore line being chased by Jason. Oh god. Let me check my handbook. What's the channel catfish doing? Okay, they like cheese. They're a bottom feeder. Okay, so I did a, my best right here. Body killed rises. Oh, I didn't do my best actually, but thank you for the follow, Gooberf. 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 Well, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I didn't do quite my best here, actually. He's a bottom feeder, and I'm here with a float fishing rod. So what if I go in? I pull this back. And let's change this up. We're gonna go for a bottom fishing rig. Oh shit, I can only go foundation? Oh, shit. Well, then. We are in for some shit. We can't use our super rod here. We might actually have to fight something. Like... God damn, this is a deep fucking... Okay. Have I ever seen the original Mario or Sonic cartoons? Oh, I remember... I remember Sonic... Actually, I remember both the... Like, when I was younger, I watched the Sonic cartoons. Like, a, I want to say both, but there was a third one, wasn't there? And I don't think I know that one too well. Uh, I watched the, the one where it's Sonic says and Sonic teaches Tails, like, Hey, don't smoke. Uh, but I also watched the one with... Uh, like, uh, it's just, just a dark, evil Robotnik there. It's like, ah, smiggly. And it's just, you know, it's just a lot of, lot of, lot of, a lot of Archie comic stuff in that, that one. That I didn't follow the Archie comic, so I didn't get. Chronic the Hemp Hog. My mother had a Chronic the Hemp Hog <laughs> t-shirt. Uh, it was uh, it, 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 it was a green Sonic. I'm with, just saying those two things aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. They kind of are, kind of are, Crony, kind of are. I'm pretty sure Chronic the Hemp Hog would not make it on the Archie comics. He'd have a slight chance, but probably not. But definitely would not fly on the Saturday morning Sonic cartoon. A lighthearted one, an educational one, and a dark as fuck one. Yeah, I think I saw 
the educational and the dark as fuck. But there was another one that I don't think I saw. Like, I'm pretty sure. Like, I saw two. And I was like, there's two ones here. There's, there's two different Sonic the cartoons. What's going on? Um, but there, then I get older and I research the two different Sonic cartoons. And I find out there's three different Sonic cartoons. I'm like, Jesus Christ! <sighs> Those guys are taunting me. Oh boy, oh no, oh no, oh no, we are in for some shit now. Okay. Oh boy! No, 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 no. Oh god! 20%? That's the best I can do? Jesus fuck! I believe I'm in some shit now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, no. Stop it. Please. Wait. Get over here. Please. No. Oh, jeez. Just come without breaking the... Line, you fucker, don't break the line. Oh, god damn it! Now I'm down to 15%, and he's still risking breaking the line. But if I don't do that, he's he's just getting the fuck away. Oh, get your catfish ass up here. For a while. I'm Got busy! Oh. <laughs> I don't need his shit right now. Four pound line in twenty pound plus lake. I feel your pain. Oh no! I'm using the prologue fucking rod. This is not a good one for anything. Ah, uh, I should. I need to get a new rod probably. Oh fuck me! But my big, my my legendary rod of amazingness. I can't. It's not a bottom feeding rod. I can't use it here. Oh, but I needed to drop it to 15% for a bronze. And I need to catch a gold. Oh, no. Don't do that to me. No. Come on, you little son of a bitch. Stop trying to get away. Hey, my other rod is very impressive, Robert Ryler. My my rod is amazing. It's just these fucking catfish don't appreciate it. And they're like, nah, you gotta bring out your other rod. You gotta bring out the shitty rod. I'm like, the shitty rod? And it's like, yeah. And I'm like, boom! And here we are with my shitty rod. 
and their tension getting so high. You'd think that would be attached to the line, but the line doesn't seem to matter as much as the rod, strangely enough. Excuse me. This fucker trying to get away as best he can. Out? Stop that. This guy is gonna break my fucking- OH GOD! Okay, we're down to 10%. I'm fucked in a half. This thing is gonna break the shit out of this shit. I think we need a bigger rod. I think we need a better rod. I think our rod is not quite as strong as we would like at the moment. Jesus Christ! No, go away! No! No, I'm mm, I'm zero percent. I'm hands off. Everything go stop, please. Don't break. Don't break. No, break. No. Fuck me. we gonna do I don't think we're getting this fish I believe this fish is gonna be the one that got away we're getting him we're getting this fish he's coming in we've, we've gained a little bit on this little bastard Gotta be careful not to break the fucking line. There we go! We this ain't the one that got away! We're gonna get this son of a bitch! We tired his ass out! We managed to not break the line long enough that this fucker actually got tired. Silver? Fucking silver. Guys, that wasn't big enough for our quest. That was about the limit of what the fuck I can do with this build, and it was not big enough. Want to hear your opinion? I believe a dragon is whatever the author slash writer decide. It annoys me when people try to correct them by saying it's a wyvern. Hmm. 
Well, I know that there is the technicality between a dragon is like this, and a, well, like, a dragon has the four legs and the wing. Like, it's got the arms, the legs, and the wings. And a wyvern is legs and wings. But, considering the both are fantastical creatures... Nerd! I'm sorry, but we gotta consider it. And, like, we, we gotta consider both the technical definition according to a different author's interpretation of fantastical creatures. And the definition saying, of fantastical creatures. Necessarily mutually exclusive. Yes, they could have the same definition within the same world. But if they did, we would not have be having this conversation. We are having the conversation because one author has decided, hey, you know what? I think that this creature here that is a draconic and has legs and its arms are wings is a dragon. I believe in their scenario, in their story, it's perfectly fine to say that in that world, those are dragons. And any peasant that points at it and says, actually, that's a wyvern, is going to get fucking eaten. That's what's going to happen. Let's see, we gotta... Wait, hold on. New gear unlocked! Fuck yeah! I like gear! Let's go to the shop, because we were going there anyway. Because I gotta get a better fucking rod. Better bottom feeding rod, because holy shit. Hey, buckaroo, how's it going, buckaroo? You the buckarooin? Hey, chickadee. What the fuck's a chickadee? We just bucker. We've been buckaroo forever. Are you gonna call me chickadee? What is wrong with you, sir? Sir, chickadee? Chickadee? Buck a roo. A bukaru. Find them. That Sophia's a weird stick. But beating her at fishing, that dog won't hunt, Buckaroo. That's better. Call me Buckaroo. Proper. <laughs> good luck to you, Buckaroo. The sea never sleeps. Uh, he, 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 he loined. He loined. He did call me Chickadee for a second. I'm like, no, nah, it's Buckaroo. And now, twice in a row, he like, there you go, Buckaroo. I'm like, That's right. <laughs> One rod on the rocks. She bait cast and feeder. What I do the day now, old man. Here, oh shit, I can't afford nothing. I'm a broke motherfucker. Shit. Foundation can do anything, but except, except for you be a fucking match. That's Genesis. Oh, she. Folks, got who better fat bottom feeding rod does sound like a good time, but I can't afford. A better bottom feeding bottom fishing rod. The foundation is all I can do. I got seven ten. I need at least nine hundred for the inhale. That is over twice as strong. Fuck. Oh, Balzac. 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 Uh. Sadness profound. Okay, let's see. We gotta just do what we gotta do. 
Got to head back out to that lake. We got to head back out and we got to fish like we never fished before. We got to pray that I would above for this golden fish shall come unto us and we shall be victorious. Our salvation lies within the crystalline waters and we shall not be led into temptation for a better ride the Lord provides and we shall be victorious There's a bottom of those like okay good. Jesus Christ. <sighs> There's goat. Fish. Like. Right. Woo! That's how you do it. Time for bed, Mad Slasher? Good night. I hope you dream of very large fish. Successfully. Like, victoriously. Not like horror. Like, that, that'd be a bad dream. That'd be a nightmare. I don't sound like that in bed. Hope all you want. It won't change a thing. Anyway, let's fish. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get started on Echo, though. Echo, Defender of the Future. I only played a little bit on Dreamcast. I never got that far in it. I really... Well, honestly, like, I got as far as I could. But... I distinctly remember that there was a stage I was stuck on because I couldn't figure out the fuck to do. But, let's see how... Well, oh, God. Okay, he's not fighting super hard. I don't think this is going to be as big. We're fighting here for a bronze, probably. Yeah. This ain't nothing. But hey, money. That's what we need to get a better rock. But we're also going to need it to buy some bait. So, mm, got to keep that in mind. These guys like cheese. I got to be able to afford the cheese. Said to 100%, still pulling this thing in, Ian Cameron.
Now the fish graded size or other qualities. I believe it's just size. I believe it's simply on, you know, size slash weight. Yeah, it's a bronze catfish. Got him, but eh, ain't nothing to write home about. But if I can get a really long line, I might be able to bottom fish at that one... That one pond in the cave. Remember the one that ain't got no bottom? Maybe. Maybe with a long enough line we can reach the bottom. And after reaching the bottom, we can bottom fish at the bottom. For the fish at the bottom. See, it's it's a strategy. Intelligence right there. Had a dream where all you could catch was brim. Oh, no. Oh. That's a nightmare right there. That is a nightmare. That is, that is a horror of the horrification of like, oh, no. What is going on with my life? Why has it come to this? Someone, dear God, help me. That's what that is. I should turn this down from 100% because the next thing is probably going to not be quite as... Yeah. Why not just get in a diving suit and fish at the bottom and catch the big ones at the bottom? I mean, I guess that would not maybe be Mars, Paz, Mar, 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 Only 5% slowly bringing this thing in. It might be a silver, probably a bronze. Well, at least we're working on maxing out our prologue XP. Come on, you fishy bitchy. Oh, Mitsu bitchy. There we go, there we go. Dropping to 15%, I can keep holding it down, still gain on him, and no risk of breaking the line. There we go, just pull him in. Like the little bitch fish that he is. Oh god, he's fighting. Gotta keep it at at least 15% to gain on him. But it risks a little bit of breakage if I am not careful. <sighs> bigger hook? I don't think I can have a big hook on this setup. Like, not from what I have. But also, like, my rod is not strong enough to handle much. So, oof. We have a problem right there. Bronze catfish. Yay. Look at how proud he is. <laughs> okay. And as And as the sun peaks over the horizon. And the fish finds itself pulled from the waters in the sound of Where the hell are the big fish at? can be heard echoing across the lake. Yeah. Really can't. Attempted murder! <laughs> I tried, but he wasn't good enough. What time is it now? 4.25. It's still night. It's still night. We still have time. Catch yourselves a golden catfish! Golden catfish! Boom! 
We gotta catch him. He gonna be there like, ah, help me. If you let me go, I will grant you three wishes. And I'll be like, my wish is to have a golden catfish for dinner. And that'll be, boom. Like, it'll be great. Anyway. Oh, this one's fighting. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm probably still, at best, silver. At best. Eating gold <laughs> sounds difficult. I mean golden rank, Jobot. Golden rank. Like, not necessarily like a literal golden catfish. Though, honestly, I'd rather have a golden catfish right about now. I'd just take it to the cash for gold place. Like, how much I get for a golden catfish? And he's gonna look at me and be like, 20 bucks. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's like a quarter pound of cheese right there. And there we go. I'm feeling this one's probably bronze after all this. He gave up real easy. Yeah, it's a bronze. But hey, I'm still getting XP on my prologue and my cheese. You've eaten gold? You mean like gold flake? Like, yeah, this, that's, that is technically, like, I feel like it's true that gold is like. This thing is going deep. Okay, there it goes. Gold is just. There's nothing that you lose eating gold. Like, no, there's no real harm to it. Like,. Especially considering, like, so many of us have lead and microplastics in us anyway, so... But... <laughs> Gold can be bent by your teeth, but in the end it really is just empty calories. <laughs> oh... I've heard of, like, things being served with gold flake and such, and it's like, I don't know, I, I maybe it's because I grew up too fucking poor. I'm looking at the idea of, like, I've spent money to have gold incorporated into what I am eating. It's like, congratulations? I did nothing for the quality of the food. Maybe eat something that tastes good for once, instead of it's just is expensive. <laughs> Lead. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> yes, Jobot. Uh, no country shape media. I do not. I haven't in... It feels like years. Has it been years? A lot of things feel like years that haven't been. Well, this is a little tiny little piece of shit. Is this even going to rank as bronze or is it going to be juvenile? This is a dinky fucking nothing. There's a cinnamon whiskey that has gold flakes in it, but drinking it is not really recommended as the gold can become embedded in your intestines. Oh! Oh, that's a problem. Like, it could or it will. I mean, I could take my chances. Damn. Ha-boom. 
Oh, it's actually bronze. Like, I'm not even holding it with two hands this time. I don't look happy. Look at me. I'm there like... I got a catfish, everybody. Here, here it is. Ooh. Yeah. Let's release the fish. It's five, it's still night. We have a chance! Let's go for it! Mm. When you miss all the shots you don't take, let's go! Catch ourselves a golden fucking catfish with our shitty fucking rod. That's what we're gonna do. Golden catfish. Shitty rod. Yeah! I believe! I believe in the power of my rod! That's... This requires a little explanation. You see... You gotta take into account the situation. I'm fishing. I'm clearly talking about my... My fishing rig. See? Oh. You would suggest chicken liver as bait for catfish, but if you don't think that's an option in the game, I think actually it might be. Like, not necessarily specific chicken liver, but... Uh, but... There is liver. Hook max four zero. Well, I don't think I ha I don't have a. Oh, okay, so all right, okay, you can fish with liver. Liver, like, in general, is like miscellaneous liver is in the game. Chicken liver specifically, not necessarily, but liver. So the liver had to come from somewhere. Maybe from a chicken. I don't know. Oh, man, I gotta pee. So I probably should before I do. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm, you, you understand what I'm putting down. There's a situation, and it involves me trying not to pee myself. So, please understand. I will be right back. What's this?
There we are. Okay. <sighs> All right. Whoa, Robert Ryler. While I was over there, you you that was five fifteen hundred. While I'm not looking, Jesus, I see that here still. God damn! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, let's cast again before we have to, before it's too late. Okay, what time is it? Fifteen five twenty three. It's five twenty three. We still have time. We still have time. <sighs> okay, fifty one meters down. We're probably not gonna catch the gold catfish because we need a better rod of this kind. Yeah. But oh well, oh well, it happens. It happens. Catching a big fucking catfish like this is gonna be a bit of a... Bit of a test. A bit of a trial. A bit of a... Hey, how do you do? As so... In so many words. Uh, oh god. Still got it set to 100%. So I'm teasing at it being so close. Trying not to break it, but, you know, working my best to get it close to catch the damn thing. This is why I didn't leave the leave it in while I peed, because I mean what was I supposed to do if uh, something actually started biting? Run out of there, peeing all over the place, clicking the thing, flopping it out in front of Twitch so that I could hit it to have a TOS like violation. And YouTube, like I'm pretty sure that's not allowed on YouTube either. Though I maybe I could say but like, nah, I, it was an artistic thing. Then they'd be like, ah, alright. Twitch tried that for a second, they rolled that back real fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was another thing that, uh, hey, hi, Dislike. Hello, hello, hello. We've just been fishing, drinking, having a nice time. I've been ranting about random things. Everyone been calling me a nerd, but you know what? I've been, I've been, I've been fighting through the accusations and embracing my nerdiness. Going, boom. Here's how it be. We're still making money. We're still making money. Uh, it's 5.29. Okay, there's still a chance we'll get the fish we're trying to. Ugh. Might get me more views. Well, possibly if, like, a, uh, a big publication were to be like, Twitch streamer bears all while fishing. Silly goose, but I mean, who, you'd have to, you'd have to balance the idea of doing something that clearly ch violates the Twitch terms of service with the idea that Twitch won't notice right away, and a big publication will give you all that free publicity, and after the free publicity, Twitch doesn't just fucking shit can you immediately. <laughs> I guess it's a bit of a bit of a tightrope to walk. I'm just trying to fish. I'm just trying to fish and talk about nerdy shit. Twitch streamer handling the wrong rod. More at eleven. <laughs> Well, also, there'd be the problem of the fact that I don't know if I'd be able to hear that the uh, fish had bit the rod because that's that's in the headphones, and the headphones aren't super loud if you're not wearing them. So... Oof. Man. What is the time where I live? It is currently 10, 11 p.m. 
I go by U.S. Central Time. Living in Texas. Harble in VCs. I run to the bathroom and flip the mic up. Harble in voice chats. Money. All right. 64 credits, 55 XP, 1997. Decent year. Decent year. I can't remember exactly what happened in I'm sure there was some pretty good stuff, though. 535. All right, we got time. We got time. We can still catch the bastard. We can still catch ourselves a golden fish. Golden channel catfish. Yes, we can. One hour less than. One hour less than. So you're Eastern. East, U.S. Eastern time, Maxime. Or, well, Quebec time, probably. Same thing, effectively. Time zone just goes... Like, the time zones are... Sort of based on the time, but it's 11.13. Oh, 11.30, yeah. So, Eastern. Either East, U.S. Eastern or Quebec time, depending on how you look at it. But uh, the time zones, uh, they, from, from what I remember, there was... Back in the day before time zones, there effectively was just, like, each town had its local time. Based on just... Time, like, sundials, effectively. It was much more accurate, honestly, but it, it, because people living in the wrong... in different... Time being different town to town, while being more accurate, was still harder for people to generally live in the modern era. When the world becomes smaller, it's much easier when everyone has a very similar kind of... ...method of understanding the world, effectively. Like, like English. English is kind of become common tongue. For all intents and purposes. So, anywhere that doesn't speak English tends to learn English in their basic education just because everyone speaks English. Now, if you live in England or the United States and you speak only English, you're not necessarily like doing any better than like doing great, <laughs> but you. People will understand you, at least, mostly. Damn English. <laughs> uh, what's the opinion on the time change of daylight savings time? Your mom hates it. I didn't think too much of it most of the time. Like, uh, when I was just working overnight grocery... It was just an annoyance that would happen a bit, but, like, I'd be so so stuck to the schedule that I'd have to adhere to. It wouldn't fucking matter too much past two weeks. I'd have more pressing issues. Uh, when I was just doing the YouTube stuff, like, I had my review a week, and that's just all I did. That didn't bother me too much. Uh, this Daylight Savings Time... Is the first daylight savings time to hit me since I started regularly streaming. 
And it honestly hit me the hardest of probably any of the daylight savings times in my life. I, uh, I took an extra day off because I was just like, fuck, I do not feel like streaming yet. I do not feel like streaming today. <laughs> and I just ended up in this spot where I was just like, no, I need time for myself. Now, so, uh, when you're streaming occasionally, you do need days for yourself, but... It's just, it felt like Daylight Savings Time brought that to a head real quick. And it was just... I'm still getting used to it now, like, because I got, I have Lou. I have to keep her to her feeding schedule, and that, that's now affected by Daylight Savings Time. Right now, at this part of the year, it's not so bad, because she's like, I'm getting my food about an hour early, I'm not bothered by this. But... At the end of the year, when I have to give a feed her an hour late, she's gonna be real fucking miffed that I am waiting so damn long to feed her. So, yeah, it's just... But, like, I hear all kinds of reasons, reasoning behind daylight savings time, where it being like, oh, well, you see... During the World Wars, it was very important to conserve as much of the oil as possible, and therefore, when it was this time and that time, or whatever time, it would... Ah, bombings, this, that, the other, the, the sun being up or not, ah, save the daylight. But I'm mean, like, well, what the fuck does it have to do with 2024? What the fuck does it have to do with 2024? Other than the fact that the Third World War happens to be going on. Like, what the fuck else does it have to do with 2020? So, I'm just like, yeah. I don't see a major purpose for it. Oh, but light. There's light later in the day. Like, yeah, well, could you just... Decide that is the time then? Oh no, but then during winter, light isn't gonna come early enough. Well then couldn't you decide that's the time then? Oh, but then in summer. It's like, fuck then and fuck that. Fuck what? Just decide a time and stick fucking to it. Jesus. <sighs> leave it in the middle and leave it alone. That, maybe that, maybe that, maybe... Maybe decide the time, like, blip, in the middle. But there are some regions that just don't observe daylight savings time, like Arizona. And, uh, therefore, like, the Arizona is on central time, not central, they're on mountain time, I think? But they don't observe daylight savings, savings time. So, they just have a, they just have, like, Arizona time. Like, that's what time it is. Boom. Done. Everyone else in the world is there like, oh, got to change the clocks, this, that, and the other thing. In Arizona, they're like, the sun's still in the same place. Fine by us. <laughs> Conquered my people, and my people are still complaining about it. Quebec tried to become a country twice and failed twice. Don't really care. Love my culture. But I won't complain about the past. Fair enough, Maxine. Fair enough. Like... I'm in Texas. I'm not a native-born Texan. I only found myself in Texas. But I love Texas. In, in terms of places I've lived and just places that speak to me as a person, Texas ranks really high. I feel more Texan than I ever have. Pennsylvanian or Vermont. 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 What the hell's a word for a person from Vermont? Verm Vermontian? 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 Maybe, Jovat? I don't know. Vermontanizer. Vermite. Maybe, Vermite. That actually rolls off the tongue pretty well, Vermite. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind Vermite. Like Vermite by birth, Texan by choice.
Only time I acknowledge is sun up it's daytime, sundown is nighttime. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm. 554. Six minutes left. Are we gonna catch this fucking catfish? Are we gonna catch this big catfish? Focus. Vermontonian. Vermont. Uh, Vermite, I like, but Vermontonian. It does have. They both have rings to it. You agree about the change in time, though? Yeah. Like, the, the, the chime change feels antiquated. It just. Mm. It's the thing the world is used to, but I feel like... Vermartians. <laughs> Vermartians. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> uh. Four minutes. Four minutes. Are we gonna... Get that catfish to bite our fucking rod and ow, I pulled my hair. My thumb went into my hair when I went like that and it just, ugh. Anyway, Vermartians and the ch catfish, yes! <laughs> Getting late, so I'm gonna have to go, so farewell, Deck of Shadow, the long hair, and see you next time. See you, Country Shake Media. Thank you for, thank you very much for stopping by. Ah, uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. After this beer, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to raid Poulter and call it a day and see if I can drunkenly work on my Japanese. Uh, oh, that reminds me. The Japanese that I was working on that... Uh, you see, you see, I was working on my Japanese yesterday. I was working through my... No. Ah, hello, World Wide Web. I'm Dr. Shadow. The Frodo! Frodo, thank you very much for the raid. Thank you, thank you again. Ah... I was just talking about my Japanese study and my progress, and I'm also very inebriated at the time. I am on my second giant 32-ounce beer. So, so, uh, pardon me, Par pardon me, but I've got one minute left to catch a golden channel catfish in the lake. Although, after that, it's going to become considerably harder. But we'll see, we'll see, is one going to bite? But uh, I was talking about my Japanese progress. And what the fuck was I going to say? Shit, now I forgot. <laughs> oh! Doody, doody. Hey, hello, Buckaroo. I'm down at Silver Strand Meadow now, if you wanted to drop by. Okay, Buckaroo. I was just talking about my Nihongo. Uh, well, six o'clock. Okay, we're done with the night fishing. Walleye, mountain whitefish, rainbow trout, bluegill. Where's the where's the virgin largemouth bass? There we go. We're gonna go back to the largemouth bass. What the hell does E do? Oh, E changes position. Oh, okay. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> Luckily, I'm running one Monster Energy and three Cherry Pepsi. You'd love alcohol right now. Oh, well. I mean, it's got its benefits. It's got its drawbacks. We have to drive now, so it's going to definitely have some drawbacks. There's our car. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta get down to... Why does it always sound like a car farts? I don't understand. Why does the car fart? I'm trying to concentrate. I really am. Like, concentrate on driving. 
But my Japanese practice, what the hell was I saying about that? I was saying something. Ugh. If I know it's been going well. And I've been recognizing more and more kanji. Oh, the fucking Nitsuite. Nitsuite. That fucking thing. Nitsuite. Oh, I drove past my spot. Okay, let's drive back. Nitsuite. That fucking thing. That was part of a, when I was going through the workbook. And I. I found a part where it was like, please translate this, uh, like, answer these questions in Japanese. And the questions were written in Japanese. And the question that I was given was, Nihongo no kurasu nitsuite to omoimasu ka? And so I'm there like, Nihongo no kurasu to omoimasu ka? Right? I know what the hell that is. Nitsuite. The fuck is Nitsuite? So I'm looking at it like, is it the ni particle? So it should be suite to ni? And then I'm looking up suite as best I can and I can't fucking find it. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? It's not suite. It's not that. What is suite? I can't find it. So I end up fucking Bing searching. I search on Bing for suite. Like what the fuck is suite? And then I can't find anything on suite, but it matches to ni tsuite. And I'm like, well, ni tsuite is how it was going. I thought it was the ni particle, denoting that this is either a time difference or a location, but it's just part of the word ni tsuite. Okay, that's the word. What is it? And it's like, oh, it means that it's about this particular topic before it. Like, it's, it's, it's locked to that. That's just how it works. That is the topic, and that's what you're talking about. And so I'm like, huh. Is, has this ever been fucking taught in my fucking lesson workbook? So I flip through the workbook for lessons on it, and I don't see anything. And then I flip back to the vocabulary for lesson eight, and it's like, oh. Here we go in the vocabulary. Here is Nitsuite. And Nitsuite means about or concerning. And in the meantime, I flipped through the entire fucking lesson and not lesson. And not once in the entire lesson does it actually itemize how the fuck to use Nitsuite. It's just there in the vocabulary for the lesson. And then in the workbook, it just is drops it on you. Like, you're supposed to understand this. And I'm like, fuck! So, okay. Nihongo no karatsu nitsuite to omoimasu ka. What do I think about things concerning Japanese language class? Let me answer this fucking question. Using to omoimasu. Saying that this is what I think. Okay. Jesus. Bing, the Google God screams blasphemy. Yeah, but I get Microsoft rewards points for searching on Bing, so I'll do it. I don't have any bait on it? Oh, oh, wait. Lore. Book size three, six, eight, six. Three seem too much, but let's try six. Six seem to be doing okay, but we need to get a gold and we're going to get bronze on six. But three seems too big. We didn't get anything on three. Love my rants tonight, Maxime. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's what happens with enough alcohol.
Your ba new band name? Methyl... Methyl Sofiazol... I know. Methyl... Methyl Son... Methyl Sofian... Meth... Meth? Methyl... Lysothiazolino. It's a suave shampoo ingredient. Need more drunken nerd rants? <sighs> well, then we need more beer! <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. Come on, go in. Large mouth bass. I need to catch you tonight. Yes, yes, I caught you when I played Sega Bass Fishing. Sega Bass Fishing. But that was an arcade game. Oh, this is a sim. This is a sim. So I need to catch you here to prove that I can. In the midst of the harshest computer game. Computer game. Oh, please let me catch you. I need to cast again. Ah, need to cast again. Yes, we need to catch ourselves a giant largemouth bass. Going to do so within this cast. Please. <laughs> or not. Uh, uh, sorry, John Bears. I get I get a little carried away sometimes. <laughs> uh. Just fishing, just fishing, having a having a good time, having a great time, having a wonderful time, timing it with our times. Yes. Scared away, aka drunk. I mean, there's that. There's that. But, I mean, as long as we're relaxing. May as well just relax the whole way. Drunk at Broforce would be hilarious. What's Broforce exactly, Maxime? I'm 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 drawing a blank here. But the only Broforce I know is the uh, the the pixel art platform and shooter. It's a game. Well, that that st that still keeps it the same one that I know. But I don't see how me being drunk on that would be, like, fantastic in any way.
Yeah, that game? Okay, well... Therefore, I'm still drawing a blank on exactly how being drunk is going to be an improvement. <laughs> uh, like, I... I have Expenda Bros just because it was uh, free to download. But Broforce... Probably die a lot. Like, Broforce has a lot of... A lot of fun stuff. A lot of references to a lot of action movies. I love that. Love that. <sighs> oh, well, there's my problem. I'm, I'm pulling this damn bait in too fast. That's why I gotta cast so much. Well, the stream will end, and we'll eventually see Decker passed out on the keyboard with a half eaten little Debbie in his mouth. Oh, I don't got any Little Debbies right now. I do have Oreos. But those are Charlie's Oreos. And she does get a little bit upset when I eat them. She she won't admit it. But when I'm sitting there and I'm just open up her Oreo. Op open up her Oreos and I'm, I'm pulling out some Oreos. And I'm just there like... Ong, ong, ong. She, she ain't happy with me. <laughs> we'll say that. It is a fucking... Bronze at best. This thing ain't fighting worth a shit. It's coming in so fa fast. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a juvenile. <laughs> it's a silver? Really? I mean, it didn't give me any XP on my rod or my bait. Huh. I mean, it's a small mouth, but... Silver? I didn't expect that. Reach for Oreo's gonna pull back a stump. Notice how he didn't deny it. He just changed the snack. Fair. Fair. You see, that's that's the thing, Fuxcaru. Is that I, I, uh, I... I don't have any Little Debbies in my possession at the moment. Okay, this was stronger. And the last one was silver, but it was a small mouth. But I'm at 100%. I'm still not even coming close to risking breaking the rod. Or breaking the line, I should say. The rods don't break in this. If they did, I'd have to buy them again. Like EverQuest, which I, re I believe I talked about ever. I really want to get to fishing on Shenmue 3. You know, have any idea how much I want to fish in Shenmue 3? Like, Shenmue 3. I didn't even know fishing was in it. But... Fuck yeah! I had no idea that was a gold lodge mouth bass. God damn, this rod is nice. It didn't even increase the XP on my rod. It's just like the bait got a little better. You got a little better at using that bait, but that's not even a good enough fish to challenge that rod. Fuck yeah. All right, trophy shot. Look at that. Look at that bass. Look at him. He gonna, he gonna be singing at a steakhouse in Texas. Actually, I've never seen them at a steakhouse in Texas. I've seen the bass... I won't... Bugaboo Creek Steakhouse. Anyone else know that in Pennsylvania? Bugaboo Creek? Fuck, I remember Bugaboo Creek. We had that talking fucking moose head on the wall. I miss the Bugaboo Creek. I like steakhouses in general. I fucking... I like steak! I'm sorry. I enjoy eating steak. Attempted murder! I did it. I did it. I'm trying to kill this thing. Look at me standing out here just holding this thing shining in the sun. It can't fucking breathe. It's there with its large mouth like it don't know what it's doing. Haven't seen Decker this drunk since EDF4. <laughs> I don't even remember getting drunk in EDF4. What are you talking about? I mean, I'm confused. After Evil Dead 2, I don't want to see a damn talking heads. Aww. But, 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 Bugaboo Creek Steakhouse, we had a moose on the wall. A moose. And I say that as we, like I ran the establishment, I was just a fucking customer. But there was a moose on the wall. It would tell stories. It would sing songs. It was a, it was a nice steakhouse up in Pennsylvania. 
I don't know if it's still there. It's been 20 years I've been in pain. Damn. This is a long time. It's, it's been some but I mean, you can't you can't complain about Texas steakhouses. Steak was for dinner tonight here, and French toast crunch for dessert. Ooh, not bad, crony. Not bad at all. The fish be like, "Kill me or release me, please stop doing nothing." <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Windows. Alt print screen. Was that it? There we go. Yeah, I, I, I did the screen cap. <sighs> there we go. Boom. Done. I made money. Got rip. Woo. Respect is everything. That's what we learned in Saints Row. Saints Row 2? Fuck me. I got Saints Row 2 on PC, which is a broken as fuck port. But a shit, I got an Xbox. I got Saints Row 1 and 2 on that in digital form with backwards compatibility. That'd be fun. Have I tried poutine? It's french fries, with gravy, and cheese curds. I have never tried poutine, Maxine. But... I'm not saying I'm against it. I just never have. Like, they do not have it in Texas. But, I mean, like... I like french fries. I like gravy. I like cheese curds. They gave me too high a degree of painkillers after my nose surgery when I was a teen. Sunk pink dinosaurs dancing on my ceiling for two weeks straight. Really, folks, Chicago. Oh, I'm aware protein is a Quebec dish. Oh, well, I mean, I knew of it as Canadian, but I didn't know of it as specifically Quebec. But. Gold rank channel cal cat. Self rank burbot. Also nice. Ohrid trout. Bronze. Hmm. Let us see. Can we get... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I have to run. Not be fish. It's fine. I'm just walking through it. It's don't worry. I'm just I'm just a little wet. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's it's great. It's golden. We are going to bear. <coughs> it's kind of high up, ain't it? 1.4 kilometers. Jesus, cock. Anyway. Beer, brats, cheese, and cereal clothes. Good place to move out to south side of Chicago. Oh, I love beer and brat. Oktoberfest is like, you know, like Thanksgiving has always been my favorite holiday, but I gotta say, Oktoberfest has given it a run for its money. It's a celebration of fucking sausage and beer. Like, oh, hell yes. 
My character can't swim? Yeah, my character can't swim. But I can run. I can certainly run. <sighs> Shit, it's ten forty seven already. I am very late on ending. I have very little beer left. Goes on boat. When? What, what boat? I'm running on land, Maxi. Oh, not going on a boat while not being able to swim? I mean, like, if you can't swim, then that's the best way to go over water, isn't it? We have beers, rams, cowboys, seal us all in a single building. God damn, night. You cheese brats? That cheese brats count? Hell yes. I love me some sausages of any kind. You see, I'm 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 of the I'm of the persuasion of a man who started his life living in a fucking cave. <laughs> like I I I can't I, I shit. You wanna find a man who loves life. I don't know if you can find one who loves life more than me simply because I know what pain like suffering I, I, I know pain and suffering so very I do but pardon me I don't know I have that, if that had anything to do with anything but it was just a very sharp Ain't all of a sudden. Anyway, uh, point I'm trying to say is that no one pain comes hand in hand with appreciating life. And so I appreciate everything. Things have been hard. YouTube hadn't made things easy. But I still look around at all I have. And I can't help but feel a deep sense of gratitude. All I have experienced, all I have for me, all I have waiting for me. All of you. And especially especially Charlie. The love I have for her, the love I, she has for me. It's just... It means a lot, to say the least. The absolute least. To say the minimum. <sighs> so, I guess that's, that's part of why... Holidays like Thanksgiving become my favorite. Like, a lot of people, their favorites are Christmas or Halloween. And I understand that. Like, gifts and family. And part, it just, just having fun and partying and all that. But, Thanksgiving. And just... Appreciating. Appreciating all you have. No matter how little it is. But still, observing it and seeing it for the... For the wonderful blessing that it truly is. Being thankful for all you have. Even though you may suffer, even though you may have your own struggles, still recognize 
recognize what it is. In your family, in your life, you have a new love. That, that is very powerful. An Oktoberfest, just, just having a good time. Just having a good time with what you have. Sausage in your beer. There you go. Thanksgiving, though, I guess. Ow, oh, jeez! Okay. <laughs> Pronghorn figure. Okay, we got a figure. There we go. Thanksgiving. I guess that's still very much my favorite. That's my pro That's my holiday. Wish I could have that turkey you make, but I appreciate every day. Don't need a holiday. Ah, oh, yeah. Man, if I could if I could make you some of my turkey, I would, Crony. I'll make that turkey, you know it. If you could have some, I would love that. I truly would. Family's little, but it's a nice family after much trouble, yeah. <sighs> Email it to me. I could try. I could try. A little about pain, losing a love. Loving father at 14, still an impact on my life. And losing a loving mother at 24 didn't help either. There's Maxine. I have lost both my parents. Relatively young age, considering all things. But not as young as you. But, and not, I don't know... Like, I wasn't entirely attached to my family either, but it's still just... I already caught an old trout. Eggs, red worm, crank. Don't forget Shenmue 3 fishing. Yeah, I got a fish in Shenmue 3. I definitely got it. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, about losing my father and mother. Like, my father, I did not have a good relationship with, to say the least. And he passed away to cancer. And I didn't think too much of it at the time. Not too many years later, my mother... Who I didn't have a bad relationship with, but I did have an estranged relationship with. I had sepsis. Within my 30s. And that just kind of brought it a whole different perspective on. family we have and the family we keep. Blood relatives versus others. There's a solemn sense knowing both who brought you into this world? No longer in it. Especially when you have no kin to follow you, you have no offspring to speak of. 
you are. What is left in that line? Solemn. The only way I can describe it. My second stepmom is receiving social security money from my father who's been dead for three years. Man, that's sometimes. Oh, I could get into some, some dark shit with my family. A good part of it is like, ain't, ain't no reason to speak ill of the dead. But a good part of it is people are still alive, and I'm like, motherfuckers. Like, family through marriage who've... Take... Mm. Okay. You motherfuckers ready for some heavy shit? Because we're going to get in some heavy shit territory in a second. Not like insanely, but like if you got a if you got a sensitive heart, just be known. This shit is gonna tug at those strings. You're gonna probably cry. It's not gonna be. I don't think you're gonna find you're gonna be angry at me, but you are gonna be sad. So just be just let it be known. And my father, he was promiscuous, to say the least. I am a middle child of middle marriages and middle offspring between those marriages. My father had many children before me and many after. And with the last marriage he had, Lady with which he met, he wed. With her, she had, he and she, the child they had, was very much disabled. My youngest brother, he was brought into this world with many, many challenges. But they did the best with what they could. They shared fond memories, going to Burger King, enjoying life as best they could for my youngest brother. But cancer, cancer met my father. Thought nothing at the time of the news. My father was not a good man to me. And I shed no tears for his passing when it came. And that left my youngest brother the sole care of his mother. I was ignorant just how that was going to end up for me. News came of his passing. Under mysterious circumstances. She requested no autopsy group be performed. An autopsy was found that he died from excessive alcohol poisoning, which brought many questions. So exactly how a young boy can find to 
a wheelchair with no means of self-propulsion, who was fed through an IV, could have imbibed to excess to his death. And then, the truth came out. She and the boyfriend she had, which she got together with less than a week after my father's passing, showing that she had him before such an event. They had both been instrumental. Pouring vodka into the IV of my youngest brother. The excuse being that he was being noisy and that they merely meant for him find slumber. Now if you ask me, such an excuse makes no logical sense. And it is more likely they simply wished to free themselves of what they saw as a burden. I never even met my youngest brother. And I fear that I love him more than his mother ever did. <sighs> I'm sorry. That is, uh, difficult subject to drop on it. It's all right, night focus. <sighs> I do have living family, but it is hard sometimes not to feel alone. Oh. <sighs> 
I think I should call this stream soon. Kind of a depressing note to stop on instead of a big catch. This is. I need to collect myself and then work on my. Work on my kanji. Not kanji, my grammar. I already did my kanji today. I'm at a hundred and one streak, so that's... I, I finally... Because I got to a nice streak of 98, and then I forgot a day. And so I've been working my way back up since... And I got to 101. So that's over half a year of studying kanji. So, according to take a nice walk with Pooch. Oh yeah, Lou could use a walk right now. One more cast, one more cast. Just breathe, just breathe. <sighs> ah, yeah. I didn't realize until after that. My father, as much... As, as much as he was not a good force in my life... Ironically, he was what was keeping my youngest brother alive. And I didn't understand it until it was too late. I don't know if I could have done anything about it if I did. But it gave me a different perspective. As abusive as he was towards me. He was the force keeping my youngest brother's mother killing him. Ilfia, my grandmother and step-grandmother are the only mom and dad I've ever known. My logical father decided murdering my father, logical mother, and the family members she was living with, as well as himself, was a better alternative than paying child support. Still a bad spot in my head, a bullet passed through my... bald spot in my head, where a bullet passed through my mom and struck me. I was six months old. Shigaru. I know at the time you didn't understand, but certainly as you grew, you learned, and that is <sighs> something you carry with you. Well, this has been a fun fishing trip. I'm out of beer. I lied, I had a few drops left. Dwelling on past mistakes is not a good thing. Who am I to talk? I still regret the last thing I said to my mom when she left in an ambulance. I told her, see you later. Maxime, it's okay. Don't. That's, that's nothing to be. I understand the regrets, but as it is said, hindsight is twenty twenty. We can only live in the moments we have. 
I try to use my... I try to use what I've learned in my life, that in the situations that come up, I might make better decisions. I hope. Uh, all of us coming together and getting stuff out is good. Yes, Grani. Yes. It's 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 we're, we're, it's just I just need to breathe. Today I saw a cardinal. My grandparents both were fond of them. That was a highlight of my day. They give me a think of it. Ah yes. My uh I believe one of my uncles before he died. I didn't know him, but or did I speak to him once? I think he might have been the uncle I spoke to. Because he was the one who knew most of the genealogy of our family. And... What have you. I think it was only one time I spoke to him, but... He was, uh... He was a... Pretty chill guy, as far as I know. He brewed as a hobby. He just lived his life. And he passed, and the whole rest of us felt it. And from another relative, I heard them say that, like, whenever they see a dragonfly pass, they think that they're still watching. And strangely after, I, I noticed more dragonflies just kind of flying, not, not just flying around. We've always had dragonflies around here by the lake. But, like, driving, flying over to my car and just landing on the antenna. And just, just staying there. Flying over to where I'm sitting, landing on another seat, and just staying there. Just stuff like that. Let's notice more of that. So, yeah. Emptying the bed is really helpful once in a while. Yeah, it is. It is. Ah. <sighs> I need to breathe and get my head straight. So I can get. Oh! Eat to eat day. The stuff. I, I was working through my workbook in Japanese study. I got to eat to eat day, and I was like, what the fuck? And I ended up seeing it was about and concerning, and then I ended up going through the workbook like, when did you tell me this? And I found out it was just a small passage when it was listing the vocabulary for the lesson. It was like, by the way, Nitsuite means about or concerning. And that was it. <laughs> but it was such a pain in the ass tracking down Nitsuite, even though that was the only sentence in the workbook it actually covered. I have now effectively memorized Nitsuite and its meaning. Even though it's uh, okay. Anyway, anyway. Take a walk, maybe actually listen to Testing for Jeopardy. Trust you. Okay? Okay. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Anyway, anyway. Excuse me. Thank you all for watching. I have a dagger shadow. And I remember. Life be fucked up sometimes. So, let's see about raiding. Polter should still be streaming. I do believe so. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Holding him streaming there. Let's dark some souls. Oh, she made it past the thing that was bothering her. Oh, she's at a boss. Okay, let's, let's raid her right now. Boom. Uh, fucking, what the hell? Is, is that a double boss? Okay, I don't know Dark Souls very well. She's she's doing some crazy shit. Let's go. Let's go see that right now. And for those of you watching on uh, YouTube, uh, you're going to have to check, up, check out uh, Boltagimp on Twitch, because she don't stream to YouTube. Good night, everybody. <laughs>